Would you say stand up is your secondary or primary? That's question one. Oh wow. B. It's kind of like are you a bottom or a top? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> How did you two meet? Oh wow. Grinder. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I swipe right on uh, Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a funny and story. I mean, how did you two meet others? <laughs> oh right, right, right. We set up a a dinner. If thought at one life, I saw him. I proposed to him immediately, yeah. and then. Now we were happily married history, with two right? kids yeah. in a house. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's good. I'm well, I look at Sean because I see myself in him, and I think we motivate each other just to be better comics. And I, I, I just, it's hard for me to say I look up to someone who I don't think I see myself in, mm. you know? Yeah. Like we had the show in Chicago. His cousin is literally carrying an entire table <laughs> over his head. And we were in the back room. He like opens the door. He's like, are you guys going to be ready in five? We're like, do you need a break? He's like, no, I'm no, good. No. Dripping. He's dripping, dripping bro. Yeah. Dripping. There's a point where you start to go, shit, I'm a lot funnier than everyone else. Like in your group, in your group, in your yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never thought that. No, that's a lie. That's a fucking lie, bro. That's a fucking lie, bro, I swear to God. There's no way that you don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Guys, welcome to another episode of Jibble <laughs> Jabber. Today, I'm joined with my co-host, Sean Cadillac. I've changed it. That's where it's going to be from now. Easier. <laughs> Fine. You, uh... I'll take it. Yeah. No, I'll no. take it. Fuck my heritage. Sarah, Sarah Lack. What's the actual name? Sarah Lack. Sarah Lack. <laughs> Sean, Sean Sarah Lack. Sean Sarah Lack Cadillac Shidiak. That's it. Sean Kids Porridge. That's what we're going to call you. Nasser, Nasser, Nasser in the house. Leg, like, hella, 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 hella. How are you? I'm in America. It's not your first time in Dubai. No, right? no, 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 bro. I spent yeah. like three months here in the spring. Don't show off, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we, we, we don't have don't spring here. Yeah, yeah. We, no yeah, spring. We don't have spring here. No one That's here knows what you're talking about. I was here in the spring. What the, what is no, one, no one knows what you're talking yeah. about here. It's you either, either here summer or not bad. I was here during summer. You are either here in summer or lower summer. Lower summer. I was here in summer. I came here during Ramadan. I spent like two and a half months here. It was amazing. And I came back. Here for like six days. I'll be back in December, inshallah, as well. So nice. I love Dubai. Honestly, it's fantastic. It's a good thing to say. I know. All these is the bento. I love Dubai. What brought you back this time around? What was that? What brought you back this time around? So this time around, I actually, um, I don't know how, I think I'm allowed to say this. I, I was doing a, a promo marketing for Dubai Bling season two with Netflix. So okay. they reached out. They're like, you know, we saw your videos that you made last year about Dubai Bling. I'm like, Yalla, let's do it. And so I came here, did a few of those with Chris Fide and with Chris, yeah. the whole crew. So yeah, it was Chris good. Chris Fide, yeah. his audio. best friend. Yeah. <laughs> his, his bestie. Yeah. And um, yeah, obviously came to see him as well. Okay. I don't I don't like going too long without seeing him now. I feel nice. like I've, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing a relative. It's withdrawal syndromes. It does. Right. We've, you know, we, we, Wait, syndromes or symptoms? Syndromes. Because <laughs> <Syndromes. laughs> okay. we're like this now because I took him to Disneyland for the you first time. Oh, oh, so that's and that, that forged a bond. You Wait, but did you take him to Disneyland or did you go through that special Mickey Mouse the one to Disneyland? No, no. The we, underground. No, not the, the underground. underground. Yeah, yeah. We had, that's part two when yeah, we go yeah, to yeah, underground. Yeah, yeah. But we that's went to... you come out like... <laughs> or like, you can't quite, yeah, yeah. it's like a, a uh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly we took him to Disneyland bro I'll never forget we got there there's a thing in Disneyland called rope drop so if you get there rope drop rope drop is that also under rope Un drop no no underground so is rope, rope drop is rope drop underground is rope drop rope drop yeah you have to get the ride you just take off the rope and you're yeah. naked <laughs> they yeah. should make a, a naked Disneyland uh, and what? A naked Disneyland. They That's do. They have it in France. It's called Euro they, Disney. They, yeah. yeah. Actually? Yeah. yeah it's now they do. <laughs> oh, wow. Like you said, it's through the Mickey Mouse door. Yeah. Yeah. I never travel. Yeah. I never travel. Yeah. But regardless, when we did the road job, rope drop, rope, not rope drop. <laughs> My mind's yeah. going places now. Yeah. Stuck for the law. Yeah. Uh, you get there at 730, they open up Main Street, and at 8 o'clock, they have ropes to the rest of the park. And they have this magical song they play, like, when you wish upon a star. Disney song. And then, like, a deep voice comes out. Yeah. He's like, welcome to Disneyland, where dreams are made of. And I look over at Sean. I just see, like, a single tear uh, coming down his face. We enjoy it. Yeah, my dad never took me, so I was like. Mm. So I but became Baba. He didn't Baba. Take you anywhere, bro. Not even to school, bro. Took, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, don't use that one on me. So I, I accomplished a daddy favor for him. I think it was a song, bro. It was a song. It, it was, was everything. Was everything. But honestly, it's the happiest place on earth. No there was one of the cast really members behind there, like cupping my ass. They were. I felt desires. this guy knows it. He has well, kids, of course. He has them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't make that joke. No, the thing is, bro. <laughs> I think it was the same guy, to be honest. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, the, the rope drops, yeah. and then we start running to get to the the Mickey Mouse ride, yeah. and they yell at us, "Hey!" Yeah. And it's these two grown ass adults just running down. But it was, it was the most typical fucking big ass <laughs> white guy, pale face, glasses. He's like, "Hey, no running!" And we're like, yes. "Fuck you!" And we just kept on running. We like, understand that. So in yeah. England, we have theme parks. What? Uh, yeah, we do. Wow. Um, I, I want to wow. tell you about that. that I thought you just watched football. I didn't no, know they actually no, do we things. Do. We do. Yeah. And like, there's like one called Chesington World of Adventures and Thorpe Park and stuff. There's and I, I Is there a royal and theme park? Like like for like, yeah. I mean, is it the Queen Elizabeth ride or like no, the paparazzi no, no, chase no, of Princess no, Diana no, or something actually, like that? Yeah, no, there's that one. <laughs> it's but, basically like how they colonize each country. They have a theme park. Here's Nigeria. Here's Nigeria. Here's Lebanon. When I first went, not when I first went there, but I went there as an adult with this girl on a date. Okay. Um, Isn't it funny how they no, say no. Ad, like not adult? They say adult. It's very, just very no, interesting. So, so I'm gonna scrap my story, <laughs> and I'm gonna start talking about how much it irks me. That's an English word too. Um, <laughs> when fucking Americans <laughs> who are go. speaking our language, oh comment. my god, Tell us how it's supposed to be said. Let me remind you who won the war of 1776. Let me. It just... wasn't Syria or Lebanon. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me, let me remind you both that you're fucking Syrian and you're fucking <laughs> yeah. Lebanese. So right. Get <laughs> fucked with America. Get fucked with England. Okay, listen, I can't saying. believe he almost just had me defending I'm America. Just saying. You have an Egyptian passport <laughs> and you can't travel anywhere. Don't get dirty, bro. I have a Canadian passport. What color thank you very much. Oh yeah. What color yeah, is my passport? Yeah, right. So we're all like the guys yeah. who. Also, so look, there's racism. Yeah. There's English people who are racist to us, mm -hmm. and then there's Arabs who are racist to us because they're jelly of because we got the passport. Oh yeah, because we have right? the passport. Yeah, you yeah, have so Canadian. Like, you have. Like, with admit, I have English. the British. British. I have American. Yeah, right. We have the, the trifecta. It's like right? Thanos and Infinity Stones. We're missing. Yeah, we just we need, need like, like Saint Lucia, and we have the UAE one or Saudi. No, you're missing the Swiss one. The Swiss passport is pretty strong. You know, and Japanese is really good too, by the way. Uh, Singapore, I think, is higher. No, but you know what's number one is UAE. It's the most it's the strongest passport. So each passport has a different category of why it's ranked number one. Okay. So one of the thing, one of the categories are if you need a visa. One of the categories are exchange something with that. Uh, so UAE has it for I think countries to visit. Um, or countries you can visit without a visa. Oh really? Okay, that makes yeah, sense. But yeah. Also UK, I haven't had a visa to go anywhere. Yeah. Maybe well, all this Brexit started now. Yeah, now Brexit. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. We know what they're doing with the uh, now Europe, the whole Eurozone, whatever the hell they call yeah. it, the European Union. That's what they call it. They're now requiring like Americans to submit like a form to get like approved to go to Europe starting like 2025. Which I love. You yeah, guys? you gotta pay seven euros, man. Yeah, but you look, it. it's not really anything to worry about oh, because not, only yeah. three Americans have a passport. <laughs> yeah. So it's not many forms that need to be filled out. Bro. Well, that's the thing. No, no, the thing go they're go smart by doing that because they know Americans are not going to fill out the form. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not doing that yeah, yeah, stupid right? ass European form yeah. staying in America. Last time I was in France, my pappy was out here <laughs> liberating you from yeah, the well, Nazis. Exactly. They don't travel anywhere. Anyway, back to my story. Yes. I went to fucking Thorpe Park. It was yeah. amazing. You went and on a the date. girl was a bit weird because oh, wow. I went in there and she was like strolling around and I was like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? We need to run from one right to the other because yeah. we need to beat the cues mm. and she didn't get it and I was like yeah so that's that, there's two the types of people at theme right? parks there's people who are trying to get efficient and get things done and there are people there just to eat funnel cakes I'm yeah. the person that's going to do both with funnel cakes yeah, with funnel cakes in my hand yeah, throwing yeah. up on the ride as yeah, well yeah. you should have seen us this time we were eating like Corn dog, Dude, turkey we leg in one hand. Hard, we man. went hard, man. We literally got, like, we separated with a mission. You get you four things, I get four <laughs> things, and you link up with that. We'll be back in the haunted house. <laughs> yeah. We literally met up, and we were like, I ripped a turkey leg out. I gave him <laughs> yeah, this a pretzel yeah. with, like, stuff with jalapenos Wait, and Wait, what cheese. did you rip a turkey leg out? You had a full turkey? Bro, full, full turkey, turkey leg. leg. It's yeah. massive. They're fake. There's they have no to way. be. There's They're no way it's real. Yeah, everything is. It's ridiculous. Where are those turkeys? I've never seen a turkey that big. No, and also, they used to be around, and then America took over the lands, and then turkeys are not there anymore. No, turkeys true. are there. They're just stuck in cages. Yeah. yeah. Big ones? Yeah. Yeah. How did you two meet? Oh, wow. Grinder. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I swiped right on, uh, on Grinder. No, yeah. <laughs> it's actually a funny and story. I mean, how did you two meet others? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. It's not a funny story, actually, but it's like more coincidental. So, I was when I was here in Dubai, mm. uh, it was during Ramadan, and like I was here by myself. There was a couple of nights I was having iftar by myself. I felt pretty lonely. So my spontaneous switch was very much on when I was here. One of my followers DMs me, DMs me. He's like, hey, I'm having an iftar at Beit Maryam. It's gonna be like 20 people come through. I was like, screw it, fuck You're it. Like I'm not coming to see followers, you <laughs> <peasants>. <laughs> like, no, I was, I was down. It yeah, was a pretty nice message. I was like, okay, let's do it. So I went and I met, uh, there was like 30 people there. One of the guys recognized me. He's like, I love your videos. By the way, I'm friends with this guy named My Parents Are Divorced. I'm like, oh my God, I love this guy. He's hilarious. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, I could set up an iftar. You could come and meet him and we can, you know, get to know each other. And then so we set up a, a dinner, iftar at One Life. I saw him. I proposed to him immediately. Yeah. And then 
Now we were happily married with two right? kids yeah. in a house. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's good. What the defense? Yeah. So, uh, so Najib, the owner of One Life, he he messages me and he goes like, um, he goes, "Listen, I pretended that I was your friend. And I, need <laughs> yeah. you to, I need you to come tomorrow. I'll give you free food." Yeah. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like, "Are you coming through?" Because I was going to uh, like a Sunday roast they had, and I went, and he's like, "Oh, do you know this guy Nasser?" And I was like, you can't tell another Arab, do you know a guy no, called Nasser? Yeah. I'm like, which Nasser? <laughs> my cousin? Muhammad. My, my other yeah, yeah. guy? Like, which one do you want? He's like, Nasser, he does videos online. I'm like, again, bro, you got to be specific. Like, I, I literally knew like 60 Nasser's mm-hmm. who make videos. So he opens the thing and he shows me one of his videos. I was like, I was like, this is Nasser. I thought he was, I thought he was a red flag guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't bring a red flag with me. He's like, like red flag guy. And then he's like, yeah, do you want to meet him? I was like, absolutely not, dude. Why the <laughs> fuck would I want to meet him? And then, so he lies to me. He hates number the room. <laughs> no, because me. generally no, I, I make life a little bit harder for, for, for guys with <laughs> yeah. me calling out red flags. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand because yeah. this guy can be a bit of a red flag sometimes. What can but I say? Didn't want to yeah. meet I'm him. emotionally unstable. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. No, so he goes like, do you want to have iftar together? I was like, yeah, it would be sick. So we, we went, we had iftar. <laughs> mm. uh, we were all being like super polite. And then I think one of us made like a bit of a dark joke. And then we're like, okay, we're all cool. Went down. And then we went to Dubai mall which was because I, I was going for to pick up something and he and was, I was meeting a friend in dubai he mall, was meeting yeah. a friend uh and i so my fourth time going to dubai mall was with him even though i've been here my entire your life. fourth time ever i never mm-hmm. go to dubai mall it's a really random thing that you would mention your fourth time like well now i've been there since then two more times i opened the door for him to go but two i mean like times. the relevance of just choosing the number four time like it's the fourth time it's not i didn't choose it god chose it for me yeah you're gonna argue with like, god Four times. This guy's I would easy. never say to someone, oh, listen, the sixth time that I went to that <laughs> restaurant was, I'd be like, the first time I All went to I that restaurant. No, no, I, I can specifically sometimes. Specifically with Disneyland, like, this is the 15th time I've been here in the last two months. <laughs> right. When you do I'm comedy, you, ha- you pick up on these weird details and only. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. fix it on, for me, number four is like, yeah, it's the fourth time. If you're like, why? I don't care if it's your eighth yeah, time or your ninth yeah, yeah. time. But mine, I'm like, why? It's, it's the fourth time. It's the fourth time. It's the fourth time. It's a really important thing. He actually mentioned that. He said, this is the fourth time I've been here. I said, this is the sixth time I've been here. I've been here for two weeks. Yeah, right? very odd. But yeah, we what? met and then we came. Honestly, it was like this. Wait, yeah. so, uh, it was just like we, this. We it was like this. <laughs> we had more like this. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> we then we. Um, I was driving around and I, I had this idea. I don't know if you've ever seen it. There was an episode in Family Guy. Um, it wasn't a Family Guy episode, but it was the creators of Family Guy. Mm-hmm. And there were these two Iranian guys in a in a red sco- uh, yeah, sports yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. And they start yelling like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. start going like, yeah, why don't you come with me? Yeah. They do an Arab accent for yeah. Iranian guys, which is whatever. But they were like, <laughs> why don't you come with me? And then they then they stop and they're like, should we just talk normally? He goes, yeah, let's just talk normally. And then yeah. they drive off. So I had the idea of what if like, I was doing it as an Iranian and I got another friend who was Iranian and we did that. And I thought, why why be Iranian? Why not be, be like Arab? And, and that's like the Arab. video with the... And then so, the, yeah. so yeah. I called, and we were talking about what video we can do together. And I was like, dude, let's just, let's just create it. He's like, should we? I was like, I don't know. He's like, all right, fuck it, let's go. So I just pick him up <laughs> and we just shoot. Like we, we recorded... We literally just turn on the camera. Yeah. We, we, don't recorded, have we yeah. recorded like 15 minutes of footage. We only managed to use two minutes of the footage because the rest is just laughter <laughs> and like crazy stuff that'll <laughs> get canceled yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, it was there was yeah. almost no bloopers. There was just saying stuff we can't use and mm. just laughing at it. And then we were just like, all right, this is just it. And then people's people's response to it was much we didn't anticipate anything. We're not. Yeah. This video blew up, man. We like, were just thinking about making yeah. a video because like he's here, I'm here. Yeah, why but it's not? like you know, it was so true to life, right? I, like that apparently. whole spraying 15 yeah. times. And the best part of it was when you started spraying each other. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that is so Lebanese, bro. It's just like... We almost passed out. Because you know, like... With English it was guys, real cologne. It, it wasn't was water. That, yeah, it was real cologne. cologne. That's why I was thinking. I was thinking... Yeah. How long have they been driving with that smell around? Because you oh, know when you spray it by accident, sometimes it goes in your mouth. We opened yeah, the window it. immediately. Yeah, yeah. We had yeah. to. But that's the thing. Because English people, American people... They don't have that thing that we do as Arabs. It's like that whole, you know, Indian guys will just walk holding hands down the yeah, street kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like we would spray cologne and go, yeah, you Thanks try mine and I'll try some of yours. Like, so it just works perfectly. I did. And I did. we weren't even thinking of that. We just like in the moment. Yeah, it was know, very the, much improv. There's thing, a lot yeah. of stuff that just happens in your life that you store in the little medulla right yeah. here. <laughs> and then just come the out later. Yeah. And, just, and you just and that, bring it out. You did. Yeah, <laughs> That we had to redo a few yeah. times. That we had that to because there was one, there was one the, like the second time we did it, we're getting so close to each other, <laughs> and we're just like, <laughs> and I, I lose it. I just can't. It was, it was too much. I'm imagining, what if someone's driving by yeah, and he yeah, sees and us, yeah, yeah. and they're just like, like, what, what are they thinking? Wouldn't it be nice if there was a video? Of some like from somebody driving by who has like the behind the scenes. I would that. have loved that. I've, just, I've often thought about that. No joke. Like with all the stuff that you I'm do. I'm literally. Right? I've yeah. when we went to Disneyland, we're like, f- if someone recorded this entire process, yeah. they would have like half the time. I'm like, I need to take a shit.
Little kids land like it's kind of was. Well, we know he likes. I don't know. He yeah, likes Star Wars, right? Yeah, I like Star Wars. Yeah, we established you know, that before. Star Wars. He likes Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. But the, the Bob <laughs> Bling thing. So, so you filmed the promo for them. Yeah, they filmed it. It'll be coming out whenever the show comes. out. I don't know when the show's coming out. Yeah, and they. So I think it's like no, end of November, December, probably. Obviously, yeah. they paid you to do that. No, they didn't pay me to do this one. And they didn't fly you over. No, they did not. They did no. not. What? You yeah. fucking liars, bro. I'm not lying to you, bro. Netflix for all the money they have, they they said no, nope, you got either fly out and so. Okay, was, so your promo will be part of the show though. Not part no. of the show. I mean, it's part of the promo for the show. That will be played. Where? It's like a press junket type of vibe okay. that they did. So listen, at the end of the day, I looked at it in a sense. And I talked to my cousin about this, who's my manager. Shout out. Shout out to my manager. Shout out to Arab, Arab, right? Yeah. Number one. Arab, like, I talked to my cousin who's my manager, my mother who's a director, and my <laughs> yeah. uncle who is the, Bro, his cousin yeah, yeah. puts it down. Yeah, he does, bro. He puts it down. He's literally the perfect type of manager to have because, yeah. like, he no, genuinely does everything the opposite of me. He's, like, he's not the perfect manager. He's going to get a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. This guy, like... He, he puts a level of care. He's basically taking the family responsibility and putting it on business, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is the worst thing you can do for your heart. Yeah, yeah. Like we had the show in Chicago. His cousin <laughs> is literally carrying an entire table over his head. And we were in the back room. He like opens the door. And he's like, are you guys going to be ready in five? We're like, do you need a break? He's like, no, I'm good. Dripping. He's dripping, dripping bro. Yeah. Dripping. Like dripping. we're like, dude, you should not be doing this. He's like, they're, do they're taking too long. We need to get this right. And I was like, nice. if no, I had a house. Honestly, luckily, like the guy yeah. has been holding it down for me. Like he... Since since I started getting into comedy, he's like taking that role to kind of be the advisor slash manager, and I literally like will like give him my life to take care of it because I trust mm -hmm. him with it. He just Sean's man. He's just that type of guy. Like he's literally like a brother for me. So, and I think it's just like uh, just us being out of. We just trust our family, you know. Yeah. And I can't, it's hard in America to trust. Worst thing mm -hmm. you could do ever. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It either works out well for you yeah, or it works or out really, horribly. Or ruins or the whole terrible, family, you know? yeah. right? You hear the stories yeah. where in America it's like a joke in America is that you have. Every family member has a family member that's fighting for that's, land back yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. You've never seen the house, never seen the land, but like, yeah, yeah. and they just don't talk to each other because they, I don't know, they take the, yeah, the land, said, whatever that is. Yeah. So, yeah, but we don't, we're not fighting over land yet. Yeah. Well, never been to Surya yet, so we'll see. Dude, there's no land left. Yeah, there's, there's no, land no more land. <laughs> like, man, there's nothing left. But there's gonna yeah. be no Lebanon, no Syria yeah. soon. Everyone's yeah. just yeah. gonna carpet bomb all of us. Yeah, play play my song now or? Not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good time. play. Good, Good play. play. No, no, no. Can we just stick that up? So. I mean, obviously, this is a cliche question, and you get it all the time. How big is your dick? Yeah. It's right. <laughs> Depends on the day. I've heard stories, <laughs> yeah. so I just want to get to the... To I just the, showed him some to pictures. To the literal we, bottom of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, just get to the tip of it. Um, what? Where did you initially start getting into comedy? Um, or when did you first realize... Because obviously, <laughs> anyone as funny as us, I say us, <laughs> there's a point where you start to go, shit, I'm a lot funnier than everyone else. Like in your group, in your group, in your yeah, yeah, yeah. I've school. I've never thought that. No, that's a lie. That's <laughs> a fucking lie, bro. God, that's I've a fucking lie, bro, I swear man. To God. There's no way that you don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's no way that you don't know growing up that you were you were the one instigating the laughter in your in your crew. No, you recognize group. it. I, yeah. No, hundred percent. Well, the thing is, I've always had a joy to like create laughter and mm. entertain people. It's like any. It's when the guests come over, I'm always down to be that that guy that does the stupid shit and yeah. like. Just be wild. So it's always like, it wasn't something I thought of, it was something I naturally did. Mm. And I just started to put it more like <coughs> being the class clown or whatever it was. It just it always was with me. And I remember at a young age, I knew deep down, like, this is what I wanted to do. But like, I went but through. But what is it that I want to do? Like, well, it's just to entertain. Like, yeah, what yeah. It is like, whatever that may be in the future. Like, again, like, when I was a kid, I wanted to be the host of The Tonight Show in America. I kind of still want to do that, but now I don't know if you that's don't have like, a big enough chin. I yeah, don't, right? Jay Leno, yeah, Jimmy yeah, yeah, Fallon. Yeah. Also, if you've realized that tonight's show, all the late night show hosts are yeah. always white people. Yeah. Like 45 year old, kind of not average funny. What show does well, Trevor Noah host? Yeah. Huh? Which show does he Trevor Noah host? He quit the, uh, the Daily Show. What show does he host now? He doesn't host the show. He doesn't do it. He's not hosting. Uh, yeah. He was yeah. literally, it was a bunch of white people, then Trevor Noah. Then him, yeah. But now it's all white people. So I always look like, I want to be the first Arab, first Muslim to ever do this, you mm -hmm. know? Um, they so will never let you, brother. They will never know. You think you. NBC's going to let that happen? I don't think so. Uh, I think when the Tonight Show is shown on a blimp, like in the future, yeah. then you might get a shot, man. I think so. You kind of have to say, I and will do it. Not, yeah, you can't not like, you I can't have, have that mentality. You have to kind of manifest say, shit, right? That's what people tell me. I'm like, are you going to like, no, I am going to be the host of the Tonight Show. And yeah. they're like, wow, that's a little bit arrogant. I'm like, to be honest, the only way to think. That, I think all the, dodgy I think the, as fuck. Bro. I think the night show, the late show, all those shows are outdated. I think so as well, yeah, and that's why I say I don't know. It might be something no longer, different. Mm. I don't. In my books, it's no longer. I'm not an American citizen. I don't watch it like everyone does. But yeah. I know in the states, it's like 
But no, yeah. not everyone. Everyone in the states now watches it via social yeah. media clips. But that's my and point. YouTube so like, and YouTube and TikTok. Yeah, just, so. You're already a while because the they're all getting show. brought exactly. out now. They're all getting all the history of these people. Like, I think it's coming out yeah. for all the stuff that the dodgy stuff that they were doing. But did so you hear about Jimmy Fallon? They don't have anyone left yet to do it. So you'll be. You'll it turned be out like bro, Jimmy Fallon's like an actual dick to yeah. his workers. Yeah, yeah. Like he literally treats like them Ellen like trash. Well. Like, like Ellen, bro. All these people get such egos and. I heard stuff like she was like, you're not allowed to look me in the eye and wait. No, yeah, she literally looked down. Like you don't talk to me like that, but shit, like. These Americans, man, they get They're some, weird, bro. They get some egotistic. Hollywood's weird, man. Hollywood gets some. I mean, weird. ever since they abolished slavery, they had to find one other way to do it. So <laughs> yeah, right. Like, did you did you <laughs> see this whole thing with the uh, what's his name? Ma Matthew Ma Ma Matthew Perry. Yeah. Well, he died. He, I don't think slavery was a thing. Conspiracy theory. But oh wow, no, yeah. In his jacuzzi. And did you hear, see the thing that he said, like the Batman stuff? The Batman stuff. Yeah. What Batman stuff? If I'm ever in trouble, I'm gonna start using Batman <laughs> references. And his oh. last six posts were all like Batman. Bat Signal, I'm the Batman. Really? Yeah, Batman yeah. plays pickleball, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize this. Yeah, and he's just put out a book or he's putting out a I book, saw the book. that yeah, was yeah, gonna he... go all about all the weird shit that happens in Hollywood. Yeah. Mm. Bro, trust me, I've started to get involved in Hollywood a little bit more recently. And like I've been, I talked to Sean about this a lot, and it's it's you notice it, bro. It's mm. it's something you notice, and it's not really. For me, I don't like seeing in areas where I feel that energy doesn't match mine. And so, what do you mean? What do you mean? You know, you mean you know, is the race, is racism or the butt? It's sex? not the racism, bro. It's just like the the way people act and the way people treat you, and like you sense like this weird aura around the city, and like, like and everyone's just walking around with like a clipboard and a dildo in their hand. <laughs> like, Literally, bro. Yeah. I don't know, Where's seen, Ellen's yeah, office? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Have you seen the movie? Uh, what was it? Um, once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No, not Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Sick movie. There, there was, was a recent movie that I forgot what the name was with Margot Robbie and and uh, Bobby. To Tobey Maguire was in it for a bit. There's a scene. It's like the 1920s of Hollywood, and like they get taken to this like this underground area in Hollywood where all these like actors and stuff are doing like the weirdest devilish mm. satanic stuff ever. And yeah. like that stuck with me. I'm like, I feel like Hollywood has that. There has to be something yeah, like that. Yeah, no, no. They're, they're definitely... I mean, I like a good old conspiracy stuff. <laughs> yeah. like, I you were love talking about shit. Underground Disneyland, bro. It's a thing. That's it's not a conspiracy, thing. bro. It's real. Yeah. Because you've been there. Yeah. Yeah. I have the keys to the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one that opens this it. This is goes, Walt Disney of Underground goes, Disneyland, bro. You come in one way, you leave another, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine, bro, just a picture of him with Mickey Mouse ears. Is like, oh, and just a hat. But you know the hat from Fantasia because it's got stars yes, on yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. So it confuses people. The only way you can and get a robe. He was wearing a robe in Fantasia, so you can drop the robe. drop. He knows it. This guy knows his Disney. I'm just saying, everything gets brought to the light one way or another. It does. I hate that shit, bro. Yeah. I'm just hoping that it's way after I die. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> regardless, bro, Hollywood, you just have to learn. You have to learn how to maneuver with it. That's just simple yeah. how it is. This is how it is. But regardless, the question about these. Do you think if if like Hitler was alive today, or if I'm social media was this, if social media question. was active <laughs> back in World War II, yeah. do you think Hitler would have done like an apology video like YouTubers <laughs> do? Like he's sitting there like crying like on like a coffee table. Think he would have like, done selfies. I am so sorry. <laughs> I, I totally misunderstood what I was yeah. doing. And like Mercury was in retrograde, and I like I wasn't feeling my spirit animal. You know. <laughs> I feel like you know that, the funny thing is I feel like that'd be great the funny thing is I want to add so much to that skit I, I'm not gonna like, I'm gonna stay away from that I'm bro. like well done well yeah, done it's um, a good accent I'll tell you that I'll, I'll <laughs> give good. you a couple of my campaigns <laughs> when, when yours dry up um, no yeah, yeah. I, do you reckon he would have taken selfies and just Kobe Hitler cut? for uh, sure no I, I mean like for <sighs> sure he was an artist he was an artist he was I'm just not gonna say for the sake of me being from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see his tear that he had in Disneyland. He just had a bead of sweat yeah, just drip down like, your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it literally went across his eyebrow you down know, into his eye. You know the Keen Peel tear. meme with him sweating yeah, yeah, at the horizon. Yeah, 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 yeah right. he feels it. I'm like, uh, no comment. Next question, please. Are you so serious? about how I got into comedy? Yeah, 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 yeah it's, I started making a lot of videos in high school and college for like clubs and whatever, you know. I once my first like viral moment was uh, I made a video for my school. It was like they, they danced to the happy video. Okay. You know, I don't even remember Pharrell, that. Yeah, yeah. It was funny because I went to a Catholic school and this Muslim guy directed so, and so made this video. I, oh, you, you went to oh, you I, must, I went to, to a Catholic school. high school. Yeah, I went to a Catholic primary school. Oh, really? Okay. Dude, it was weird, dude. How come the only yeah. Christian between the two Muslims right, has never go, been to a Catholic bro, yeah. school? <laughs> I remember arguing because every Wednesday 
I used to be in the choir, right? Yeah. So Wait, are you Muslim or Catholic? I'm Muslim. Okay. His did name is say, Ahmed. Did you just say, no. are, you, are you Muslim or Catholic? <laughs> no. <okay. laughs> are you are Muslim, Muslim or going to hell? <laughs> are you Muslim or going to hell? Which one? No, and we used to like do the choir and all that shit. And I remember arguing because oh we used to carry candles and carry yeah. the cross and walk around the, the pews wow. and go down. And then you go into the choir. And thing. then the Pope would... Uh, Me and my cousin were arguing about it yeah. so much, bro. How many times did the priest touch you? No, I used to touch him. I was, I was, fucking, I was like, I'm going to beat them at their own game. And they kept on replacing the priest. And I was, every time one came in, I was like, hmm. Fuck you up, bro. Yeah, and me and my cousin were arguing Spicy. about it. And then his older brother, we were telling him about it because we, were, we wanted to carry the cross. Because it was like in school, if you were the gangster, you'd carry the cross. The girls would be like, oh, he carried the cross today. Oh, wow. the, yeah. And then my cousin was like, you do realize that you're two Muslims arguing about carrying a cross <laughs> through the thing. And I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, you kind of get all. lost in the sauce when you're at Gabby's. I would bro. laugh if yeah. you were carrying. You were like, psych. Bro, <laughs> did, 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 bro no, we, we, we sang hymns, bro. Yo, I used to sing. I used to sing. Like, I wasn't in the, the choir, hymns, but I, I used was to sing cold, the hymns. I was naked. No. Were you there? Were Literally, you there? I know the wall. Literally, the yeah. priest does not touch me at <laughs> night. He's not. <laughs> bro, no cameras, bro. That was a, a good thing for us. Yeah, I, back in the day, we had cam. It was like back when I was high school. Was Vine days? Like Vine was like a thing back then. How old are you? 27. <sighs> yeah, I know. Jiddo, it's all right, Grandpa. I'm old, Jiddo, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Listen, they got you know, Botox fillers. You can do it. It's all right. You can, you'll be fine. Oh, you're talking about I'm fit and I look younger than both of you <laughs> motherfuckers, bro. Which one of your 12 abs do you want to show me now? Because I, you can choose any of mine. Uh, one fact, as uh, <laughs> Mr. Visa says, I've pre-order. Got abs. I pre-order all the way respect. down, and then I lift up and then just go down that as well, bro. <laughs> it's like one of those ladders. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Cat, yeah, going to cat school was, uh, it was interesting. Okay. Uh, like, especially when I was fasting. I remember the first time, this is a joke I have in my set that I remember, I'll never forget the face that, that Sean gave when I said this joke. It was an improv joke at the, the Chicago show. True story, but uh, yeah, improv, that's how he ended it. it but it, both of a true story is yeah. like how I, uh, I confessed to my football coach that I was fasting for Ramadan because I was hiding it. <laughs> and like, I, I bring him because I was not practicing well. He's like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, what do you have to say? I was like, coach, I have something to tell you. He's like, listen, you're going to tell me you're gay. Like, yeah. we got to go somewhere else, you know? Yeah. This is a Catholic school. I was like, it's worse. And he's like, what? I'm like, I'm Muslim. He's like, what? <laughs> he's like, Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's just that a really good way. Yeah. And so, like... That's my experience. In God. Like, you know, I was afraid of being Muslim. So, so when he said, we're going to go somewhere else, if you're gay, does that mean he was going to go, fuck you? No, no, maybe that's why, bro. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. They never know with these Catholics. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just felt that scared to tell him that I'm Muslim. Bro. Wow. At one point, I'll be honest with you, because it was around 2013, like, 14. So ISIS was at its height. Yeah. They were dominating. That's the when we were dope. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> they were. That's when we had some respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be acting up, you know. <laughs> you put some respect on our name, bro. Yeah. There wasn't any bombings then. Yeah, I'll yeah, just say that. Regardless, bro. So the Islamophobia was still pretty pretty high at the yeah. time, and so we like felt like scared. Being my brother and I were the only two Muslims in this school of thirteen hundred people. Sleeper cells. Yeah, sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We were like, getting people to say Ashadu and yeah, Layla. Yeah, yeah. like, you were doing it right. like daily, right? Yeah, yeah but like, you say Ashadu. And tomorrow <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would yeah, yeah. 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 teach me some curse words yeah, in Arabic. Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Ashadu yeah, yeah. and then what does that mean? I fucked yeah. your mom. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, Ashadu yeah. and Layla. Yeah, yeah. uh, so yeah, it, we felt. Uh, stuff for a lot. Yeah, stuff for a lot. Guys, stuff for a lot. Stuff for a lot. Stuff for a lot. Just say it because you're sitting with us, bro. Stuff for a lot. Stuff for a lot. Don't worry, our God, even though he's better than yours, he still cares about you, bro. It's the same God. Come back for this stuff. That's why I made the happy video for the school. Be like, oh, I'm a good Muslim. I'm making happy videos for it. Yeah. And the video did really well. <laughs> like, I'm the only Muslim here. I feel like I'm in danger. But I'm happy. Clap along. Clap your hands you if you don't feel through. like you're going to be lynched at school. Because, I'm, <laughs> because I come in yeah. peace. <laughs> literally it, bro. Yeah. Literally it. I remember, you know, the, the, I always tell people this, and there's a joke about it in my in my set as well. Is I, I was like, I used to try to fit in. My mom told me, like, Nasa, nice, listen. Like, your name is Nasser, hmm. and you are like this. Tell them you have, like, whatever. So I was Nasser in high yeah. school. So whenever I see my high school friends, they're like, Nasser, how yeah. are you doing? I'm like, oh, it yeah, just yeah. reminds me of, like, 
It's like close to NASCAR. So yeah, it, it is. Right? You know, in football, my, on my team, they used to call me NASCAR. I'm like, yeah. NASCAR. I'm like, yeah, from, from, from. And I'm like, fuck, I'm stuck for the long. Wrong, wrong, yeah. wrong, yeah. wrong sport. That, that, wrong that, sport. That was literally like a terrorist in hiding. And you know, like, oh, yes, put my, like, oh, yeah, uh, from NASCAR. From. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong. I think we're okay. <laughs> yes, very good. I also fuck my sister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are same, same, brother. We are same, same. So you get it, bro. You try yeah. to fit in just to get by. Uh, and then... Regardless, but I graduated. You know, I actually ended up being a salutatorian at my school, which being is like a, what? a salutatorian is like the it's like the second like, like the, a dog. the Salute, second best like, like the valedictorian in high school. Okay, and okay. Salutatorian is the second, and it was like the funny. You're speech. bragging about being second best right oh, now. No, no so, so we did it differently. But that speech is the funny speech. I always say that's my first real comedy set. Okay, so I went up there for 25 minutes in front of the entire school, and I destroyed people. I made fun of the priest. I made fun of everybody. Nice. Uh, so it was my first real comedy set, and it was a way Do you to have say, that recorded. I have it on YouTube. Nice. Yeah, we should watch it. Yeah, I want to watch that. Yeah, you should watch it. We'll put a link to it. Uh, so, well, how old did you? Was your mom happy that you were? Yeah, but she was doing the, the typical like filming, filming and crying, yeah. like she's so happy. Uh, bro. I, thought yeah. she, I thought you were like, mom. Do you want to hear a story? She went to film and she was like, "Oops, the wrong phone." Do you want to? Must leave this one. Yeah. This is the wrong phone. This one is just for dialing one number. It press yes. ISIS comes out left and right. She's like, "What here? What are we doing?" She's like, "Not the right place." Not video, video. But you want to hear a funny story about how much of a dick this guy is? My the first comedy show we did. Oh right. Me and Sean in one life here in Dubai in the spring he's up there he's like what's doing spring so- yeah. brother okay sorry spring? Uh, early summer yeah, yeah i have the burp one second yeah. burp that's a good burp you should have done it in the mic yeah, that yeah. was mama ish i missed it i was waiting yeah. okay that was that was uh Ahuman Ushe. it was Ahuman Ushe. Now, now you have to fart to updo that one and then what <laughs> <laughs> and then you just yeah I was just, <laughs> 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 just <laughs> back to the back to guy this guy being a dick yeah. okay so he's doing his crowd work in the show and he goes He's like, who is this person that doesn't know how to hold the camera in the back like filming? You're not supposed to hold it like this. What are you yeah. doing? And then, and then he goes, dude, say it. I did. Okay, so it was as it was a big audience. Okay, and there was pretty much there's phones being up, but it's you can tell that everyone's recording. Number one, like yeah, vertically. Normally, like like this, how vertically. anyone would record. And then you see one person at the corner. Hold the phone. And do it. Holding it like this. With the full flash coming out, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, I was like, whose mother yeah. is recording? I was like, it's such an Arab mom thing to mm. do. And then like I do this, then I see it's auntie, and I was like, I am so moving on. I was, <laughs> was my mom. Like, I was I was about to go like in. He was, was about like, to go in. His crowd work is good, right? Uh huh. His crowd work is His good. Crowd was the fantastic. improv. I love Thank the you. the last one that we went to. Well, I said we life, went to, yeah. where you went to, um, where you found the Russian. Yeah. Was it a Russian and and the Moroccan and the Indian Moroccan? Guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just turns up to his mom with a tank and he's like, "You either get in or die." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that one. I think the best part of doing stand-up shows is the crowd work. Ah, yeah. no, you're the talking improv. about the, the German Polish. German the Polish. German Polish. That's yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This there, guy's. This guy. This guy had. I have to fart. Should I? Should I do it? In the no. Mic? no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you will hold it in because we're all in the room. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's why he did the first time. It came out of his mouth twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, who, yeah. There was a, there was a German guy whose name was Maximilian wow. yeah. uh, Lehmannberg something like that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what, what, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. what a what a conflicting last name, like a Jewish last name and like a Nazi first name. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then he was like, yeah, my my dad, my grandfather was uh, German and my grandmother was Polish. So I was just running in on jokes on like how he like got her basically and oh, wow. through the war. And oh. with the accent, you know, he has okay. a very good. Uh, exactly. his German accent is fantastic. Yeah. This guy's the king of accents. He doesn't bro. have a German accent. He has a Nazi accent. I have a Nazi <laughs> accent. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just hold off. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah longer time. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> when you, your first show was with him? No. Yeah, it was like our, my, it was like my first official show, like after like the, like blowing up a little bit on social media, it was my first like official like stand up, stand up show. Yeah. How were you feeling just Sexually. before going on stage where you were like, I told, was I, that the first time you went on stage in front of an audience? So to I do had done up? a little bit of open mics before. Okay. I was like working on some jokes and stuff like that. But this was the first official Habibi nights. Like mm. this was like... The NASA like stand up show, you know, because you did the football announcement before. I've done so, yeah. We, we'll get to that. It's actually very mm-hmm. important to mention. But uh, I, I, t- I was so nervous that I locked myself in the bathroom because I just needed to like be by myself because I didn't anticipate the show to go as well as it did. Because like mm-hmm. I remember, like I was talking to Sean, I was like, I want to do a show, all this stuff. Sean's like, listen, like I'll come help you out with the show. I think you should do it. I'm, I'm glad he pushed me to kind of like just create like a 40 minute set, mm-hmm. and it was like free tickets, like first come first serve. I remember Najib called me before. He's like, how many people do you think are going to come? I was like, probably like 40 or 50. Mm-hmm. And then we get there. 
and there's already like almost like 120 people on the wait list. Wow. And I see this when I walk in, I just get really nervous. You're I'm like, like, shit, we should have made much. For yeah, no, but like I told you, we were losing out money tonight. Yeah, yeah. We could have sold tickets. And then um, ended up we got like the capacity of the place like one. I don't know how much in the, we we packed them in tight there. It was about 135. Yeah, like 135. We packed them in super tight, and we had to turn people away. I'm getting super nervous, so I go to the bathroom. I lock myself in the bathroom. I'm like going over my set, and I'm just like, Bismillah, please, Allah, if this is meant for me, please like make it happen. And I remember Sean went Such up. Such a Muslim thing, right? Yeah, like normal people would be like, yeah, God's going to protect me to come and watch over me. He's like, if this was meant for me. <laughs> yeah. Like he went and like had a little nap and did istikhara as well. And just woke up and he's like, hey, I'm good to go. It was a good dream. <laughs> it's literally, bro. It's literally. It was pretty, it's like literally. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, honestly, it was great to have Sean introduce me. It was like, like having him there made me feel more comfortable. Mm. And then seeing him do his crowd work and stuff. And then I'll be honest with you, when I went onto the stage... Every single nerve in my body left. It, it just disappeared. And I felt like it was a place I was meant to be. Like the dua worked. And mm. I and I just I really like it it felt it felt so homey. And it, mm, now I just want to do it more and more. Mm. Especially with him on the stage. When me and him are on the stage together, I don't know, just we get into like a a flow. We get into a flow that like we didn't even plan it, like in the car. I don't know. It's mm. the chemistry is just like there. Yeah. So it's uh it's just a very fun time. So it felt like it was supposed to be like, I don't know, if you've ever been someplace, like, you, know, you go to a shawarma spa, and you're like, this is where I'm supposed to be. Like I go I to a woman's spa. A shawarma spa. Oh, okay. Because no. I also feel like that when I go to a woman's <laughs> yeah. spa. You're always like, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Then the police comes like, this is not where you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> you had that, except that one time in Brazil. Yeah. After that, the beach. Yeah, that was... Yeah. That was a place that you didn't feel like you should be I don't think I can anymore. tell that story, bro. It's a Brazil. funny story. Wow, he's I been around. He's been. Yeah, around. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you've been around, bro. Uh, he's been, he, he was one of those backpackers. Backpackers, two oh, years. Really? Yeah, traveling around the world, no shoes on for the whole time. Literally arriving in the airport, like a, like pure hair. No shoes. His feet down, are pure cows. Like, like hair solid down the way. way. Yeah, like long hair. Like yeah, yeah. Wow. I can't tell that Brazil. story. I kind of want to ask I've, so many follow-up questions to this, bro. I like. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. become the. I can tell you the Brazil story. It's a. Uh, I've never. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you after. Okay. I just feel like. You know, I might save that for when I come do stand up with you. Yeah, yeah. if you guys true. want to hear yeah. the story, the Patreon link is yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Exclusive monetize, 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 monetize. That's monetize. one of the five Brazil stories as well. I've got more for you, bro. Wow, I yeah. want to go to Brazil with you. Call us. I want yeah, to make this yeah. happen. Yeah, I'll take you. I'll take him back to where I was. Right? I'm so <laughs> You're most welcome <laughs> to join. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that may be, I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to hear the story now. Yeah, <laughs> but guys, so we the, that the show happened, and then uh, I've done five shows since then. We've done. New York, LA, Chicago, where Sean came to in America. It was Chicago. his first American show, Chicago. So nervous. Nice. Uh, and I was really proud of him that he came because it's like an audience that he's not used to. Um, but he was just, yes, I'm ready to do it. And we had a fantastic show. Mm. And uh, I just finished up an LA show. And now mm. we're taking a little bit of a break and probably, well, Sean and I are trying to do like a, a pretty big like end of the year show in December. Which clubs are you going to in America when you're doing? So here's the, the thing. The, so the, ha or? the Habibi Nights are actually like we're... It's not like your typical comedy show. It, I'm trying to create like a young Sahra vibe for like younger people. Like, you know how our parents used to go to Sahras and like yeah, yeah. very formal. I want to go to like Arab venues or restaurants that have stages where I want people to come to eat good food, to eat shawarma, to eat like fatouche, to have argile. We bring musical performances. We're bringing other people. And the show itself is extremely interactive. Like there's a segment where I go up and like when Sean's there, like it's a, it's a red flag somewhere. We bring up four guys mm -hmm. and as a crowd, we decide if they're a red flag or not. You know, okay. and there's another segment where we teach non Arabs how to dance to Arabic music. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's very it's very entertaining. It's not like your 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 traditional stand up show. Mm. It's so, a really nice way of trying to mask the fact that he can't be asked to go to the comedy store, get bumped five times, get exactly get, get lighted, like <laughs> and have to do it the hard way, like every other comedian. So who this did this it. is the thing that's, that's like, a, yeah, this is a new whole phenomenon <coughs> about stand up. We had yeah. this conversation yeah, yeah. the last. So we had two comics here the last time. I don't know if you know them, uh, Sandeep and Anand. They do the interview. Ah, yes, I've heard stuff. of them. I've heard of them, yes. Uh, you haven't, but fuck them. Yeah, anyway. that's okay. a way to like, you're <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck they are, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we were having this conversation, and I was I was saying how, like, um, because Anand had been doing stand-up for years. Yeah, yeah. I joined in late, right? And then I did shows, and then I kind of saw how they were going, and I was like, all right, I stepped out, focused on content creation, then stepped back in. Yeah. Anand didn't believe it until he saw it work for me, and then now he he literally put everything he had into creating content. Yeah, yeah. And now it's He's like, going back to stand-up, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the thing. Like, it's well, platforms first. I've, I've felt the uh, a little bit of the headbutting with the traditional mm. comics. It's like, like, what Sean and I did is that we created, like, audiences... Mm. via social media and it's like it helps too. it helps bro it, it helps, helps a lot and a lot of i never forget i i saw uh drewski right he 
was backstage at the Kevin Hart show. And then Drewski is like a big African American mm -hmm. comedian, like on social media. And he went to the Kevin Hart show and Kevin Hart came off the stage and he came up to him. He's like, fuck you, you're a bitch. And like Drewski looks up to him. He's like, what the fuck? Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, he's like, fuck you, you're a bitch. He's like, why am I a bitch? He's like, you're not a comedian, a real comedian until you get up in front of a stage and mm. start doing it for the audience. And Mo Amr told me the same thing. I went to one of his shows and I asked him a question at the show. I told him like, you know, I have a social media following, all this stuff. He's like, all this shit, great. You're funny online. You're not funny to me until you can do it in front of an audience. Mm. So that kind of like enticed me to go to do more stand-up. And then when I met Sean, it was like the final thing I needed to hear. Like with, with Sean was talking about he's trying to do more stand-up. And having him there, I was like, Klaus, I feel comfortable. Like yeah, now's the time you need to do to, it. And it's a very close-knit community as well. You need to earn your stripes. Like whether you're funny or not, yeah. you need to earn your stripes and you need to do your reps. Otherwise, yeah. you're not going to get the respect. 100%. But at the same time, like, listen. I get what you're saying. I'm like, well, I don't have to do that because I can still make money and sell tickets and, and pack a place. Mm. Like, I did um, I did an episode with May, May's Vault. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So we did it live and she sold tickets and everyone came and watched. And I was just thinking, I was just like, you can just sell out a place with your followers. You, you have guaranteed. You don't have to. And none of them are coming there to heckle. None of them no, are coming. No, they're coming because they like they're you. They're coming because they, they like, like your content. They come to heckle, but it's fun heckling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not like, like a, it's a it's a bit of banter. Yeah. So here's a this is the thing I ask. Like it, why, why is it that like we we put in work to do our content? I've posted mm. more than two thousand videos. Sean's posted a shitload ton of videos. Like we put in work to create content and to create followings. And they put mm. in work in the stand-up clubs, right? So like why is my thing is comedy is an art. Why do we have to stay to one road to being a stand-up comic. Like, why is mm. it that you have to be in the traditional clubs? Why do I have to earn my stripes this way? I think, listen, art is a free-flowing form. I, And again, I think people will disagree with, with me. And I'm open for the debate to talk to them about it. But I'm using my Habibi nights as ways to test out my material, to practice, to do better. We're bringing other comics on there. We're bringing performers. Like, I'm trying to create an entertaining night where I can become a better stand-up comic but also create like a stand-up comedy vibe as well. So mm -hmm. I don't know what you think about it, but like I, I kind of get stubborn. Like why do we have to stick to one one route? That's just my thoughts on the situation. Yeah, I mean, no, it's it's like I, I think Andrew Schultz is a fucking great example. Mm. I, did you go to, you went to the show? No. He had a show in Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. Mm. And you can see and fucking he pushed. Mm. The, like there's the limit here. This is the limit. He was here, yeah. Yeah. but he did it with so much finesse and so much relativity. Like he mentioned Chemakis. Mm. Chemakis are like, like, the, like they're referred to as like yeah. the ghetto people, like yeah, yeah. whatever. If you know what a Chemak is, you've earned the right to say almost whatever you want to yeah, say, yeah. you know. And he pushed the line, and he really showed the rest of the world, like when he's putting bits out on the internet, that like you can joke around here. You can make jokes. Like no one in the Middle East is there like, don't make jokes. Yeah. So he's, and he put it in, in the comments. He said like, um, you know, this is, I'm proving to the world that the Middle East has a better sense of humor than anyone can ever expect. But besides that, Andrew Schultz started off his, his um, Facebook videos. Mm -hmm. So his Facebook videos your phone sideways. blew up, you know, huh? Yeah. The whole turn your phone sideways thing that he did on Instagram as well, yeah. So Facebook first started blowing up his videos. 2018, 2019, he started to really push a lot of his Facebook content. His YouTube started to pick up. His crowd work started to go crazy. Then when reels started to pop off a little bit more he started to put stuff on reels yeah so andrew schultz is the living example even like he was then joe rogan was talking about him to dave chappelle and dave chappelle's like yeah he's not a comic for me he's doing his own thing like it's cool what he does but it's not comedy for me so if the great is saying that that's not comedy for you but then this guy is selling out world tours selling yeah. out world, world tours and he's doing his stand-up regardless he's doing his stand-up I think Dave Chappelle said it because he's not hip to like a lot of social media stuff, but he's a, yeah, he's a traditional. So, old he's more guy, traditional, yeah. and like everyone looks up to him. Like I, he's my goat, you know. Like, you know, one of my my one of the craziest stories ever is when Dave Chappelle surprised us at the Comedy Cellar in New York City. And he was like, "You're a bitch." No, I, I wish honestly, I would have been like, oh, "I am a yeah. bitch," but it was crazy. We can get to that later. But I I agree with you. I agree yeah, with so you. Andrew Schultz kind of showed the world that you can do both. You know, you don't have mm -hmm. to do. And now he's has a really great podcast. Flagrant is like fucking yeah. fire yeah so. he's great at stand-up like he's he's like you can he's, he's literally just put his fingers done, in every pipe yeah and you he's, gotta be dynamic he's done it you right. have to be dynamic in this world with digital media only getting bigger mm. i don't think it's right for anyone to say you need to do it the old school way like i i, I don't i don't to, think to so. some degree though like to some degree like you need to keep the old school way alive because the old yeah, school yeah. way is how you get where you need to be 100 percent. so i think the old school way makes you better at doing your online shit yeah. because like if you see there are some people who 
you've met and and done something with, if you put them on stage, they kind of freeze. Yeah, they're not very good. Nas and I have had this example. Yeah, and and we've seen some people who are like super confident in front of the camera, like they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. and then you mm -hmm. put them on stage in in not their comfort it's zone. Completely different. They know what the mm -hmm. fuck's happening. Like I put Nasser with people who he's never met before in a country he hasn't been to in years, probably ever in an audience that he doesn't even know exists. He did the same thing in America. And no matter how uncomfortable or, or like frightful we were, we still put in that basic effort of like doing stage presence mm. work basically. And that, I mean, for me, it's, it's just about putting yourself there because the old fashioned way is yalla, go. You know, the old fashioned way is very like rub some dirt on it and go, just do it. That's the old fashioned way. Don't overthink it, just do it. Nowadays, it's like, how do you feel? Is the star aligned? Is Mercury in retro? Yeah. There's too much thinking that goes into it. Nasa has the experience, which he'll get into about like doing these like massive football stage announcements, which is over like 50,000 people. Mm -hmm. And that obviously helps you lighten up the load, but it's different because it's more anxious when you're the there star for the, the football show. as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're there being the lubricant. Yeah. But when you're the, you're the show, you are the traction. Yeah. And when you're the traction, it either goes very well or you're just slowly grinding yourself against sandpaper. Yeah. And sometimes in between your set, you get that. Like I had, a sh I had the show where I watched back the video. It's 30 minutes set. I, 15 minutes is like pure durex, you know, mm. extra, extra lube. And then you have a portion where I didn't know what the hell was happening and People were laughing, but in my head, I'm like, that could have gone so much better yeah. if I just did blah, blah, blah. We're our harshest critics. But, yeah, 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 but that is that is traditional stand-up. Getting there, feeling that that burn that, ah, oh, fuck, I should have done so much better. Yeah. And then still working up the balls to get back there again, even though if you feel like your last show was terrible. Mm, and yeah. that's the traditional element, I agree with. But, it is, but we're doing that at our shows. That, that my shows yeah. are having that element where I... I in my New York show, I, when I watched the show, I noticed the part where I was realizing the pacing of how I could switch up the pacing with my jokes. Mm. I'm learning it. I'm not going into it in a sense where I'm too good to try to do it. I'm going into it. You're doing into, your reps, bro. It's like I'm every time you reps. do it, you learn something new about the show before. But why not put in the reps and make good money off yeah. of it and people leave having a fantastic night? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Makes I'm sense. using it as a way to get better. I'm practicing. People are coming. They're seeing me. They're enjoying my presence. They're enjoying just having a fun night where Arabs in America could come together. Because that in America, I'm mm. telling you, man, this is the one thing in America that Arabs lack is like we're looking to latch on to more of our culture. I think in the past few years, I've, I've noticed this switched where Arabs in America, like we used to be like very hesitant to say like, my name is Nasir instead mm -hmm. of, or I'm Mo, you know, they, they, like Mo to Muhammad. Now there's pride, there's confidence mm -hmm. in who we are. And I'm noticing it from singers like Eliana to St. Levant to comedians like myself and Sean and May and all these, we're, mm -hmm. we're being unapologetically Arab, right? Mm -hmm. And so people in America, Arabs in America are looking for, nights where they can just go listen just to an Arab, Arab comedian, hear their story, you know? Because yeah. we don't have that in America. That's what I love about Dubai. I tell people, they say, what did you like the most about Dubai? I say, in Dubai, it was the first time in my life where I felt like I didn't have to try to be Nasid. Mm. I just was Nasid. In America, I have to try to make sure I, I remember my Arab side. Mm. Or I get lost in the sauce, bro. I get lost in the sperries well. and the, the vineyard vines and all that stuff. Although I've never worn vineyard vines. I have worn sperries before. I don't know what I'm, the fuck those two brands exactly. are. Exactly. It's white boy stuff. Mm. All right. Those are. I've done it. I, Is I, it like I, Rip I, Curl and Billabong? It's, 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 it's a, a faction of it, bro. Like the vineyard vines is more plantation vibes, you know? More like KKK mm. type shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, that's, that's why I, these events I'm looking at, I always tell people, this, my goals in, in comedy are, are two goals. There's... There's goal A is my personal dreams to be as big as I can as, as a comedian. And goal B is to rise, bring up the out of culture in America where it's mainstream. Just like when you hear Bad Bunny in the club and you're like, oh, it's Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. Bad Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Bad you want to hear like, uh, like Amr Diab in the club. Like, oh, it's Amr Diab, yeah. you know, or it's, or it's Sean and Nasser's and song. And not just like know? somebody coming back from holiday in Egypt with a song that they just learned. Do you know what I mean? Bringing it back. Exactly. See, yeah. so that's what I'm trying to, to do with these shows. Like I'm working on my comedy, so my stand-up skills. I'm bringing out of people together and not out of together, and they're coming together as a community. And I'm trying to do that more and more and more. And so, and giving a safe space for interracial relationships that are exactly his white girlfriend. Exactly. The bringing, bringing the white yeah, bringing them there. It's like, you're going to be welcome here. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At, 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 uh, at the show we did in Chicago, there was a, a couple. Um, is Abu Tanner? Is Abu Tanner. Abu Tanner, yeah. yeah. So they have two kids, Tanner and. Oh, uh, Ethan or something like that. Ethan, 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 Ethan and Tanner, yeah. and their their mom and dad are both Arab, I think. But the dad literally looked like he came out of an episode of fucking Scrubs. I don't yeah. know. He was 
proper like white guy you know literally. like button up glasses like kind of like nerdy nice guy yeah. i'm not shitting no he him. was a nice guy but Very, he, he literally sport. looks like he grabbed good his outfit from dj max and literally straight out of the white guy factory you know yeah. Um, and then the wife, she looked Harab, but like whitewashed Harab. Yeah. And they, uh, what was his name? Who? Abu Tanner. I forgot. He's Abu Tanner, bro. <laughs> so Abu Tanner had a, a, Rams, a Ramsey. 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 So we're Ramsey. Like, he's like, yeah, my name's Ramsey. We're like, Ramsey. <laughs> yeah, Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey. And the wife was like, Farah or something. Yeah, it was Farah. It was like, Farah. Yeah. Was it Farah? It was Farah. And we were like, we, Nasa was fucking with them. Uh, I jumped on the bandwagon later because I, I, we, he brought me back on, and we were talking to them, and they're like, "Oh, like, are you guys married?" And then so Nasser was picking on the fact that he looks super white. He's like, "How did they accept, you know?" <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, you know, he's Arab," and he's like, "What do you mean Arab? Like, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're, you're not even." Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he's like, "Oh, I get it because you said Arab. We already know where you come from, so it was okay. Yeah, yeah. The union was yeah. fine." And then he's like, "Yeah, I'm half, I'm uh, half Palestinian. I think he was, he was half Palestinian, Palestinian half yeah. Palestinian, half half American." And we're like, "Oh, so do you have any kids?" And they're like, "Yeah, we have two sons." And we're like, "Oh, mashallah, what's their name?" He goes, it was like um, uh, Tanner and and fucking Ethan. Eli or whatever. Yeah, it was the most white names in and the we're, world. And everyone was just like, why? Why would you not carry you know a culture the, over you know the kids? the funniest part of all of this? Sean. What is it? Sean. Sure. <laughs> don't, don't, you don't need to. You don't need to. We know. Sean. <laughs> Are we Sean? <laughs> Are we Sean? Yeah, I but just realized that you really have a white name, yeah. bro. To be fair. But then Arabic is Shaheen. Shaheen. <laughs> Shaheen. To be fair, it's Sharif. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, my there's no, it's just my. There's nothing bad. There's nothing bad. Here's a question. So, obviously, we're making a song. We are making a song. It's about Shawarma. Right? Yeah. It's called Be My Shawarma. Be my, it's literally called Be My Shawarma. <laughs> Is it like you want to give it a cappella now or no? You save uh, it. We uh, the actual we don't have it, but there's the off-brand version which I he remembers. Like we have a rough draft of it. Song. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do, why does it sound like a hip-hop song? No, it's more it's like a like a Amr Diab in the water music video vibe. Yeah, like, okay. We're going to you know, drop this song and it will be the number one hit yeah, across the world. It's gonna, Trust me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to slap. It will. Like it's going to go... Is that what you want to be remembered for? I want to remember. Be my short man. <laughs> like imagine that went viral. Better, that's super, my super, legacy. Super viral. Better than being and that's not what you remembered. always exactly. be known for is be my short man, guys. Would you rather not be remembered at all or be remembered for something? None terrible? of us are going to be remembered. Yeah. Or nothing at all. But listen, I think if we can make a mark on this earth, and it's with no, no, Shawarma. But, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not, Shawarma is good. This, yeah, this, exactly. this conversation aside, would you rather be remembered as something as someone who's done bad things in the world or remembered not like not at all? Depends on what the bad things are. You mean infamous? Or you not? can be infamous or die unknown. Okay, what's what depends on what the bad things are. It well, doesn't matter, bro. It's not, it's not going to be it's good. It's nothing good. Okay, I, listen, honestly, I'd rather just not be remembered, to be honest with We're you. We're not going to be remembered anyway, dude. Like, yeah, nobody we'll cares, about bro. Years, bro. Literally 50 years after you die. Well, I mean, the world won't remember you, but about probably about you know, a year as, after as you're as gone. As long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembers me. Wait, alhamdulillah. That's all that matters. Alhamdulillah. 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 I just want to say this. So here's a question. She didn't let me finish before because she wanted to talk about shawarmas. <laughs> no, no. Would you say stand up is your secondary or primary? That's question one. Oh wow. B. It's kind of like are you a bottom or a top? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> B. Are you more comfortable? Because look, there's people that try to do stand up, and that's what they just try to do. Like I'm an actor. Those people who yeah, yeah, yeah. are in Hollywood for 15 years trying to be an actor. They're, They're not, not doing real jobs. Um, and that's what they do. Do you find it easier no, that I you have the social job. media that you know that I'm always kind of doing this at the same time? Yeah. Which is going to bring in campaigns or bring in money or whatever, as opposed to I'm just doing stand up and I need to make it as stand up. Because yeah. you can make it in two ways, right? With that. So before, you're saying, before do I, you blend do I, would I pick one or more? No, no. What I'm do I saying, do you find it, what's the word I'm looking for? More comforting or less of a. Less of a challenge. I'll tell you what. I can answer this question for you. I feel more comfortable on the stage in front of people. I okay. that's where I feel at ease and more at home than on. I, I love entertaining people, whether it's via videos or in person. But since I was a kid, I've always enjoyed seeing the happiness reaction. in front of people yeah. and entertaining people, entertaining people in front of people. Right. And Sean was mentioning this. I was trying to find ways to do it in person. In college, I was the MC for the American football team and basketball team at Berkeley. And so I'd be out in front of 50,000 people leading cheers, advertisers, stuff like that. And so that helped me like become even more comfortable in front of people. Because like, okay. if you can be in front of 50,000 people, you can be in front of 100 people. But, like, but you couldn't be funny then. No, I had to be very proper yeah. and stuff like that. But it still it, like, taught me to like, it was a way for me to like, 
I always just add my personality to it. My yeah, producer yeah. would be like, dude, tone it down. You're being too funny. Like, it's yeah. not, this is like a professional football yeah. game, you know? Uh, but it just taught me, like, I was always looking for avenues. Yeah. The moral of the story is, like, I was looking for ways to be in front of people, mm. you know? And, like, now, alhamdulillah, like, it's, it, honestly, it brings me so much joy that I can actually, like, have the ability to create an evening where I could be in front of people. Because, I like, you can interact with people online, and it always feels like a, a binary, like a zero-one number, like a code, like someone commenting, whatever. But the, just the interaction in person, because... You get to hear stories. You get people come up to you, feel people's touch. You get to smell them and do whatever you want. Like, you know, it's it's <laughs> you touch, yeah, Mitchell, you touch goes like one second. <laughs> yeah, you feel people's touch. I like touch. you. How do you smell? You smell uh, them. You I like you. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I just think there's something really special about that. And like, you get to really to see people you follow, that follow you in person. Yeah, it, I take more joy out of it in person. And my goal is to be able to do more and more in person stuff. But again, I also have goals to develop my social media. I want to create TV shows, I want to be in TV shows, I want to be in movies with Sean, yeah. all this stuff. You can take it, tell them you'll be late. Yeah. yeah. I, I, want to, I want to create long form content. Like I, I look at myself more as like, I want to be an entertainer. And mm. if that's, com comedy is always going to be something I'm going to use. Uh, the social media will never stop. But I want to create more other stuff. I want to create more movies. I want to create more shows. And that's inshallah with time. So, it's always that the crux is the people. It's other people. Like, mm. I, I generally just love see, creating joy for the people or seeing joy. Like, yeah. I would literally go watch a movie again like that with someone else. If I've seen, like, like Avengers Endgame, I yeah. watched it five times with five different groups of people because I enjoyed the movie, but also I just want to see people's reactions because like, yeah, it's a yeah. great movie. Uh, and and that's, when, that's what it's all about. Do you think that's, like, the prerequisite to being a cuck? <laughs> he has a very good point doesn't it yeah. <laughs> what seeing joy in other people kind of yeah. is it no 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 what's the definition no, of no, a cuck I, isn't it a cuck is like you like I know, you, I tell your you, wife I, is I tell cheating you on you no I she's tell not you. cheating you're she's there. not telling her what to do pretty much you're allowing it and it's you want to watch it it's just a thought like do you think because I'm not you saying wanna, you you want to see the joy in, you're saying you want everyone to be happy you want her to be happy no, it's not. I didn't say I want everyone to be happy. I want to bring a bull. Because I, I get what I get what you mean. Because when I when I no, because I'm saying that I want to be the one creating the happiness. A yes. cuck is saying someone else is giving the happiness to the other person. No, I don't listen. It's not like I read the definition of cuck every single day. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm, I'm, no, no, so I'm like just, I pull up every day and oh, what I'm, the, no, the, I'm, the, I'm the, just asking because what what it's a good it's a good notion to have. Because like I, I I said the same thing. I love watching people be happy. Right. Yeah. I love watching people laugh because in that one moment you watch them visually disarm themselves and let go mm -hmm. of whatever bullshit. Exactly. Happening. Exactly. But at the same time, that in my mind is creating like an alternative theory. Like you know, in, like in, you know, in the multiverse, how the multiverse. it's how, yeah. how when something happens, it's like splitting off. Yeah, yeah. there's a new string that attached. A new timeline. Uh, yeah, yeah, a new timeline. So in this timeline, do you think that people who enjoy making people laugh enjoy giving pleasure amongst other things? Like I personally, I love to cook because I like to feed people. Yeah, I like, to people. Um, I like to do certain things because it makes people feel good. Do you I, think that that's I a prerequisite say, to being a cuck? <laughs> I will say, if we're gonna create a universe with different timelines with infinite amounts of possibilities, there are infinite amounts of ways to make people happy and uh it's a very american I feel like politician the beginning of this podcast i was a political was science one, major was in college one of how this podcast would have been in a another timeline <laughs> yeah, yeah 100 like what we were doing before what we were doing before, before, we're doing before, before we started, never be posted yeah, yeah. if this yeah, yeah. podcast was shot in america we yeah, probably yeah, yeah. would have 100 yeah 100 yeah. yeah. that would have exactly do you yeah. understand the one thing about comedy in america mm. that actually irks me to a a high degree. When you I'm glad that you learned that word and you took it. What, irks? irks. Yeah, irks. Yeah, irks. irks. You know what yeah. word I love to say in British is yeah. Range Rover. It just rolls off so nice. It's like, two words, bro. Range Rover. It's it's a British word, Range it's Rover. It's two words. It's two, okay, but it's just like so British. Like, Did you Range see the way he Rover. did that? Like he went so feminine right there. He was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just let it let it pass okay, by. Okay. Cut that out. No, um, put it right in. Just just <laughs> just have it come in like a, a gif. <laughs> it was or like a gif. Like, yeah. get on. Um, yeah. X. What are we talking about? You being oh. feminine. Do you think? Arab <laughs> <laughs> yes, about me yeah. being feminine. Yeah. I love doing yeah. that. I don't. I don't think Arab men can be cucks. Just too, we have too much ego. No we way. Do, bro. I would never be able ego. to do that. Arab Americans. This is a different story. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a couple. Yeah. Because like I could. Like this is the thing. Arabs know, like, are, I want Arabs everyone Arabs to be happy, but sometimes thing against Arabs and Americans. Don't like, be happy. No. Like what, 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 I, don't, I don't think they do. It's just jealousy. Okay, good. It's the passport. Yeah, thing, we have the passport. There it is. Yeah, Thank you, you for yeah, yeah. That's the crux of the issue. Yeah. Is the passport. Well, I'm on your side. I'm the one with the Thank passport. You. We all have passports. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the other people outside. How important do you think? Say mashallah so no ain. How important do you think it is to have more Arab? Yeah, you know. 
Yes, that's uh, a lot. Tests, I mean, in like probe tests. Comedians it's in extreme, America. It's extremely important. Because who do we have other than Mo Amr? It's Mo. There's Rami. It's Rami. And they're like the... There's Nasser. There's other ones. And there's a few other ones. Because um, you have Basim and stuff. But I feel like Basim is... But he's not Arabs. American. He he'll literally do a show like he's promote. He he did a show on like Irvine the other day where he's it's only in Arabi. Because I'm not talking about yeah exactly. I'm not talking about Arabs who do well in America. Yeah. I'm talking about Arab Americans. Yeah, that grew up in America. Yeah. Nimr, there's Nimr. There's Nimr is Lebanese. Nimr, no, Nimr is Lebanese. Lebanese. Nimr is Lebanese, but, he Lebanese, but he's, he's heavy. But he's in Arab. Lebanon. Here's the problem, guys. Nah, he has a huge American demographic. Like his his audience is American. Yeah, that's the that's the point I'm making. Like, but he grew Arabs up Arabs that have the both sides. Right, have huge fans on the Arabic side. And like Mo has huge Jews Arabic fans and huge fans from and all over the world. Same with Rami. Same with yeah. Rami. S same thing. I can consider myself again. I'm so, so I consider myself a rookie mm. in terms of stand-up comedy, but I consider myself a comedian, whether people mm. want to disagree with that or not. I just said Nasser twice. You, yes. Mm. Thank do you, you get a lot of people disagreeing with that? Um, there are some people like in the, that, that 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 disagree with what? That he's a comedian. Who? Would, but I mean, I put it in my bio. I yeah, believe I myself. I don't give a fuck if they believe I'm a comedian. Yeah. I know I'm a comedian. Yeah, because the way you yeah. said it was like you've had issues. You no, there are some people traditionally that think that what I'm doing is not mm. comedy. That's just that's like how who? it is. I mean, bro, like Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, like Kevin Hart. Even Mo Amr said, like he's like he said, what you're doing. I mean, amazing. He's like you figure out the algorithm. Now get in front of a stage. But mm. still, in my in my. But sense, now you're on the stage. No, exactly. So now I'm on the stage. So I listen to him. But at the same time, like. What's like so? So what's wrong with doing social media comedy at the but, same time? Uh, what, the question actually is: What defines being a stand-up comic? Standing up and, and yeah, but for how long? Mm -hmm. When do you now are your comic? Because that's my question. Like I, I, I know some people who have done close to yeah, thirty you be years shit and do like a yeah, yeah. like you can yeah. be a stand-up comic and you can be fucking horrendous. Yeah. So do we share the same job title because? You've done it longer and I've done it longer. Like, like, yeah. Which one is better? Good, I guess because you're dressed as a fireman and if you save no lives every time, like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. are, are you really a, a fireman? Yeah, are you, or are you like just if you're, a, if a, you're a watch If you're an ER yeah. surgeon yeah. and everyone, and everyone on your watch has died except <laughs> yeah. one out of every 15, yeah. are you still... You know, like the, my question about stand-up comedy is like, it's such a non-serious job that requires a lot of serious dedication to it. It does, So it's a very ironic way to look at it, but what defines... And the word stand-up as well because... They're standing you can't up. say that some there's, no, that you can't say there's no, some some you can't say there's no what you're doing on social media is not comedy because it's comedy. So this is, comedy. this is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Is that like some people try to gatekeep what a comedian is. Yeah. The world is evolving. Everything evolves. All right. I sometimes are skinny, sometimes fat. Now I'm a little bit more chunky. Like it, it depends yeah. on the, the vibe, right? I saw that Disneyland. Like, yeah, you saw it. the way we're eating yeah, at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. You get chunky. It's all right. That's, I'm happy. That's, that's how all that matters. On the regular. Yeah. That's this guy inhales food. Sometimes. Yeah, either. I, I will say. I <laughs> Tell me another story, bro. Till, 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 till today, I still will put my money on the table that no one can out eat me, and I've eaten some with some big people. Wait, but the speed at which he eats, I will. I'm like over that. It. I'm like that too, bro. No, and you, know, and you know the thing is, what I don't understand, bro. Listen, don't leave tails on shrimps and shit. I don't have time to sit there and pick the tail off a shrimp. No, no, I I'm, just want to put stuff in my mouth, bro. bro. You, you have like, issues I don't, with your mouth. I don't you want. Issues, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't, don't eat the tail. Tail no, is no, not no, a vibe. No, no, no. I'm talking about when when you order something and it comes with the tail on the shrimp and it's cooked. I'm like, why, yeah, why, why should I yeah. stop and take the tail off? Yeah, so I can eat this curry. I just want to mix and eat. Bro. Oh, okay. Like, really do you know what I mean? Dumb. So yeah, it's a very yeah, odd I point never to had fixate a, on. Never had beef on, on shrimp tails, to be honest with you. Never. It is it is annoying, but also like don't be a pussy. You know, just remove the tails. Just eat the tail, just eat the whole thing, right? Bro. Say alhamdulillah and eat the food. Yeah, so <laughs> wait, uh, what I was gonna say is was he in the story, the shit yourself story? What? What? Were you talking about Nasser in no. that story that we did on a previous episode? You shot yourself? Have you ever me? shot yourself? Sean, no, you shot yourself no, because no, no. you were saying I was me and my friend. No, no, we were eating and we're both like Oh no, 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 no! no. He's, a, he's another. No, okay. this guy is a, a big so he, German he's guy. A, he's he's a nemesis, bro. The other guy. <laughs> no, big guy, big, yeah. big German guy. Yeah. Uh, but we went like we were. We had landed in LA. We After were, Chicago. Yeah, we went. Mm -hmm. So basically, Chicago worked up a massive appetite because of the adrenaline that was there, and I also had a fever when I was performing. He was very sick. I was super sick. I was like popping Dayquil, Nightquil, all at the same time, like Tylenol. Um, and so when we got on the flight out, we went to LA. I, we were both super fucking hungry. I don't eat on flights. It was it wasn't a long enough flight to, to, it wasn't to eat long anyway. Enough to get food, yeah. Well, actually, it was like five hours. It was a four hour flight. Four hour, yeah. four, four hour, five hour flight. Mm. 
And we get to LA and we're like getting, we had the car rentals. We had to go from one place to another. We basically had worked up an appetite and the hangry energy of mm. it. We all haven't eaten. The flight took long. I've never Bags seen this guy still. angry into that moment, by the way. He did not want to talk I to didn't anyone. want to talk. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to sit in the back of the car and be silent. They're like, which car should we go? I'm like, get a fucking car yeah. and let's go. <laughs> and he's like, where can we go? And we go to In-N-Out next to the airport, like the very iconic one. Of course, it's going to be fucking full. Yeah. So, and then his cousin was like, it's not safe to leave the bags in the car. We need to take everything out. It's America. And I was Don't like, leave, leave <laughs> le- let them fucking steal my shitty black shirts that I always yeah, wear. Yeah. Let them fucking steal it. I was like, bro, they're going to break the window. Then we're gonna, I was like, <laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah. get all the bags. And like, you just see the three of us, like three Arabs, like, luggage, uh, eyes wide open, just fucking sprinting to In-N-Out. And we go to In-N-Out and we order like... A, like two, like we order like a yeah. decent amount, and but the wait is long. And every time they call out a number that's not ours, we get just pissed off. Yeah. We're like what the like fuck? We're, we're doing the thing where you stand, you just <laughs> <laughs> with the receipt. We're like what? And then he, he's like, "What number?" I'm like, "What's?" The, and he's like, "I don't know what the number." First, what's the number? Like our, everything is agitating, and so we all got to that point. We finally sit down. <laughs> we put trays. There wasn't enough, so we put like tissues on the table. And we're just eating. Like I had two, and I I eat right. Yeah. So I'm like in my first bite, in my second bite. And he looks and, over at me. And I'm and like, and Nasa's like literally with the tissue. He's like, he's like, oh, alhamdulillah, that was great, bro. <laughs> and I was like, dude, where the fuck uh, did bro, it go? I can like, down some food. I can just <sighs> boom gone. Like I take yeah. my time with food, and I eat a lot. Like I'll eat everything on the table, but I'll take but my time yeah. to do it. <laughs> Mashallah vacuum Dyson I was hungry man I was hungry he Dyson up that shit bro Yeah he was... he, he definitely started Do you do that on your on dates as well When you're with chicks What was it With chicks Yeah Do you kind of like Change it a little bit Just because no, I don't want I am, to see listen, my two with, 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 Even when I go on dates with girls I am who I am and So like, you just eat like that I'll uh-huh. eat like that I'll eat like, I'll, I'll eat like that I don't change who I am with girls And that's why sometimes Some girls are like Damn this guy's actually Not different in person yeah. And some girls like it And some girls are like Well this She's is a just too like, much Oh, thank you for... Oh, you're done. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you're done. It's just because girls love to eat from your it's plate. a good question, though. Like, so this are, is you, a good are way- you in a relationship now? Uh-huh. No, not, not a lot of people know I, about this kind I, of stuff. I'm single. I'm He's single. not single. Why? <laughs> I'm, not single. <laughs> I'm single. Yeah, He's I'm single. single. Why am I not, Why am I single? Is it because they will see you eat? And then no, no, it's away? not. I actually... Well, a lot of people... He's pulling down his shirt. Are you single? How single are you? He's setting up a tent right there. He's pitching up a tent. It's not for the law, man. Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm not really consistent in my own life right now. Like, I literally am in Dubai for six days. I'm going back to New York for a week. Then I'm going to be in SF. Then two weeks later, I'm going to be back in Dubai. Like, it's kind of hard for me to maintain anything consistent with a woman right now okay. if I'm not consistent in my own life. I feel like any girl I want to be in a relationship deserves at least a consistent person, right? And so I'm, and my mind honestly is so focused on my career. Like, when I say I'm obsessed with this and I'm obsessed with making this happen. Quit your job. Yeah, I need to do that. I hope they don't watch this. Uh, <laughs> Imagine there's one in guys like what, this. What did you do? Go to Java? I work full time. So I, I after he has a yob. After uh, yeah, Which after yob? undergrad, I went and got my MBA, and I'm working like a business job in tech. Okay. Um, and uh, I do business development. Do a lot of the people in in, in your nope, work they don't, know any, they don't know anything about it. I believe no. that they do. Of course they do. There's no, no they way they don't. They don't. They don't. Dude, I, I'm no pretty way. sure that my my coworkers my age know, but I work remotely, so they don't they don't know, mm. right? Uh, they don't even because know you're you here. always put Listen, that mask on. I come on this podcast again, I might be fired or I might quit. Like yeah. you never, you, might have, you never, you don't know. But I still work a full time job okay. while I'm doing this, just just for now, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not not. I don't have the time to date right now. But again, I'm obsessed. With this, like I'm literally, it's like the mama mentality. Like I'm, Kobe Bryant literally was my my idol, my mm-hmm. father figure. Our my parents are divorced too, right? Mm-hmm. So like this is also why we connected when we met because we bonded. Because he that. was also your idol. Yeah, Sean is my idol. Yeah. I look up to him. <laughs> Honestly, to be honest with you, people like this is I, I thought about this the other day, and people always ask me the show. They do a Q and A session at the show, mm-hmm. and people always ask me like I've been, they've like oh like who what other comedians do you look up to like what is stuff? and honestly like. I've said like Mohammed and Ami, but like honestly, I I don't look up to them as much as I I I actually do because they're different types of comedians. You know, they're more traditional. I respect what they've done, mm. but in terms of other comedians I looked up to, Sean is someone I look up to as a comedian because like he 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 motivates me to be better as my as a comedian. You know, I want to be touched. <laughs> he wants to be touched, yeah. and because I, I, I really sweaty hands. I got yeah, nervous. Where have those hands been the past five? I got nervous. Like yeah. you, he literally guys, went yeah. out of the room, came back, and he's going exactly hands. because I'm super late yeah, yeah, yeah. for this tasting. That's fine. Oh, the tasting. I'm, I'm literally. Oh half my an god! Hour late. We'll I'm give you a tasting. 
<laughs> literally half okay, an hour. Thank God. I actually have a date after this too, so I'm not going to be like, don't say that. So, don't say that. Why don't we go? There we go. Hey, hey, the, uh, I got to look out for I'm his fucking PR yeah. manager when he's here. Yeah, yeah. How are we on time? One hour, 12 minutes. Awesome. Yeah. Um, we got another hour. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, fantastic. So you're single till later tonight. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Honestly, this girl's kind of cute, so we'll see. If she plays her cards is right, she and, Arab? You know. Yeah, she is Arab. I don't date white women anymore. Okay. I don't. I stopped dating white women. because they don't so, wash do you, their ass. Yeah, obviously, yeah, you That's get, a big thing. Yeah. yeah, bro, bro. Shut off your shit, I don't even ladies. know, bro. Nah, bro. Honestly, I just like uh, white it. woman... Ew. They bore me. <laughs> no, that, they bore me. I get Yuck. bored. I get bored with white women. I don't. I just don't feel like... I can get as entertained. Bro, you're preaching to the choir. I got yeah. three black kids, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you talking to? Yeah. Wait, are you married? No? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are? To a white woman? No, no. no. She's half white, half Somali. Oh, really? Funny enough, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What side yeah. do you like more? The half white or the half Somali side? Uh, depends. On the day, yeah. right? Mondays are more white days, I feel like. Yeah, it depends when I go out on the boat. Yeah, okay. That's when I need the most. Just right. to have my White people love stuff. boats, by the way. No, 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 no the Somali no. side. The Somali side is what he's talking about. Oh, because we, we, leave with, we leave with one boat, we come back with two. <laughs> yeah. Right? We I have to come back with two. Yeah. Bro, I said that to her mama at our wedding. She was not impressed, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Whis I whispered it into her, and her mom's a Somali one. <laughs> she didn't get the joke. She didn't. How'd you, how'd you hey, guys. Hey, that's my cue. No, no, everybody else. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've only got like 50, 15 minutes left. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, so they, yeah, white women don't give me. They just I. They're not entertain. Like, I. I just feel bro, bored. Bro, it's just like the chicken, bro. It is no seasoning straight no in the pot, and it's just. It is, no and don't get me wrong. There are some beautiful white yeah, women yeah, out there, yeah. but do I genuinely think? No, listen, I. I don't have a chance with Taylor Swift. She's dating right now, but do I? If if that opportunity ever like came up, would I? Would I date Taylor Swift? And listen, this is a very privileged thing. She definitely would not date me. I'm not yeah. her type. She's but if there was a Taylor Swift type of girl, I would not want to date her. Yeah. I respect. The only white woman I'm gonna go for is Yo, the uh, Swifties who's that are white come giant? After you yeah, no, no, I love Taylor Maybe Swift. You're though. You I love that? Taylor who's Swift. That? White giant. Which white giant? That was in Police Academy. Oh shit! The blonde girl. The Amazon, yeah, the yeah, tall, yeah, yeah. massive one. But I need to make this statement though because yeah. the Swifties might come Damn, after. That's a good strong. movie throwback. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Michael Winslow, the guy who used to do all the sound effects. Wow. Michael Winslow. You know Michael Winslow? No. You've never seen Police Academy? Police Academy with Eddie Murphy, right? No, that's Get Beverly out. Hills Cop. Get Beverly out. Hills Cop. Guys, thanks for watching another No, Police Academy is Chris Joe. Farley. No, that's, just just tell your racist white girl stuff, bro. No, I was just <laughs> saying, to the Swifties, yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift does not need to be thinking about me, okay? Taylor yeah. Swifties, we love Taylor Swift because they're very strong fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, yeah? Taylor Swift yeah. fans are like the, ooh, oh, that's really? going to get me canceled. I'm Man, you know, I really, I reckon like if it wasn't my wife, I'd definitely be with a white girl who sings. What color hair she got? Blonde. Blonde. Blonde white girl, no, Taylor I think, Swift. You know I can tell your wife to... doesn't watch the podcast. No, 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 do you? Huh? I can tell your wife doesn't watch the podcast. No, she does. I'm just saying that because you said that Taylor Swift fans are good. I'm trying to get more followers, bro. No, <laughs> the, Taylor Swift fans, I was about to refer to them as the modern day versions of uh, an army. Oh, okay. But I'm not going to say which oh, one. They're okay. very uh, loyal to her. And I get it. Like, Taylor they're Swift's loyal to built the an empire and I respect it. Like, she's, she's done a fantastic job. Mm. Just with this tour that she's done, it's been very impressive. I heard she, and I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, but I heard she re released a whole fucking album. She re fucking respect. That yeah, because the label some, bought yeah, yeah. her stuff. I think Scooter Braun brought her stuff and, and he owned it. So she wanted to own her music. Yeah. She re recorded every single one of her albums. That's crazy. Re released them. That's, bro. And they all went and only listened to those ones. Yeah, and they're, they're top. Bro, her album, yeah. 1989, that got re released last Thursday, became the number one listened to album in the country wow. this year. I mean, in America. We're not in America. I don't, I don't get it. What, what's special about it? Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm, it's just not me. Yeah. What's. Tell me a Taylor she, Swift song. She honestly does a fantastic job speaking to the white girl experience. Okay, there's a lot tell of white me a Taylor Swift song. Uh, there's like, we are never, never, never getting back together. So like, that's a, that, okay. like, I can see a white girl who's heartbroken, like talking to her friends Obviously like that. Obviously she's with a white guy because she can never say that to an Arab. People exactly. Like, shut up, get back in the house. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> You're or, not or leaving. Or she dated a black guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So You're like, not leaving. So that's, <laughs> you don't that, go that's back. her vibe. Yeah. She, does, she does a really good yeah. job speaking to the white girl experience and to like, any girl who has that white girl, you could be any color. And, it's and my guys calling you saying, let's Sean leave. Wifey. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. Okay. <laughs> but uh, just, answer, 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 yeah. put on the. Uh, yeah, answer, 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 Babe, we were just uh, talking about you now on the podcast. We're actually shooting the podcast. Do you know who Taylor Swift is? Do I know who Taylor Swift is? Yeah, you're on, you're on the podcast and on speaker, so don't say fuck or bugger. <laughs> yeah, it, of course I it. know who she is. Yeah. Does she like Taylor Swift? Do you like Taylor Swift? 
she's all right. Okay, see, that's, that's, that's the half the Somali side. side. That's the, that's the, 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 the right side is the white side, but the Somali side is the all right. <laughs> she's white, though. <laughs> Your wife sounds You're British bad. as well. Yeah, she's so, so she's half British, half Somali. I don't think the Taylor Swift experience relates to it. <laughs> okay, simple all as right, that. All right, babe, I'll, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I love you. I'll love you too. Bye. Bye. So yeah, I, I when think you say let go, do you mean the way my dad let go, or do no, you mean okay? Bro, but, we had the same experience, bro. Well, you, you had a different. My dad let go of life. <laughs> yeah, he pieced it. He, he was just like, nah, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's schooling costs way too much, bro. His dad passed away. Yeah, Allah I didn't know him. <laughs> yeah. Do we all not know our dads? Only three. Yeah. Wait, wait. All of our dads are in another bar together. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, it's yeah. It's just like all three dads, two back in Big East. <laughs> They're going to watch this podcast and be like, look yeah. at our sons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ben Laden yeah, yeah, in the back yeah, yeah, there. Right? Like, they all think we're dead, right? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Group high five. Yeah. All right, I really need to fuck it. No, no. We've got, we got five serious. minutes. we got five minutes left. Is there anything? Five that we, minutes, bro. we got five minutes. Five bro. minutes, bro. Bro, this guy just said that he, he respects you and stuff. You can't just go now, bro. Yeah. I literally he, just he, dropped he, one of the most amazing affirmations. I'm yeah. about my him. teeth back in. Yeah, uh, teeth back as he puts his teeth back in. Uh, back to the thing regarding Taylor Swift, all this stuff. When I look at, the, like, I look at Sean because I see myself in him and I think mm. we motivate each other just to be better comics. And I, I, I just. It's hard for me to say I look up to someone who I don't think I see myself in, mm. you know? So, and with your question about should we have more out of American comedians? 1,000%. We need to. I don't want to be the only one. My shows are about bringing other comedians to the mm. to the stage and, and, and being he's, able to... He's trying to get into stand-up. That's why he's asking. I'm not yeah. trying to get into stand-up. You are trying to get me into stand-up, but I don't... He I'm, wants I'm to get into stand-up. Do, do it. Why not? Like, what's, what's stopping you from trying to do it? It's bro, fun, absolutely bro. Absolutely nothing. It's just like I've never like, considered doing it. Yeah, yeah. He keeps going, you're doing it tomorrow. I'm like, why? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, I think in America, they're just in terms of the Arab experience and the Arab culture, there, there needs to be more promotion of... Arabs and mm. it's going to be and not comedy. just us in Back to the Future wearing the wrong color khatra with guns that's what, exactly like what I'm trying to yeah, say yeah, yeah. Like, like it's not about me being Arab it's not about me being American it's about me being Arab American yeah. that's my story right yeah. and I want to share that story to a lot of people who can relate to that and there's there's more people like me and there's other comedians that want to get up there there's no one like you you're so, unique okay but before we I mean, go let's uh, do Sean red flag you want to know what Sean's <laughs> red flags are yeah what Sean? I can. Wow, this is go crazy. <laughs> I think Sean. And then I want your own. Okay, I'll and tell you I my want, own I want, first. I want his red flags. I'll Dude, tell you mine. I am just one big red flag flowing in the wind, bro. I'll tell you. I'll tell you mine. Okay. All right. I am too much of a flirt. I really like flirting with women. I noticed that when yeah. we when, <laughs> again when all three of us were in the bathroom together before this episode was shot. <laughs> For no Don't tell me. Like, yeah, I feel like there's a whole episode that that came before this. Yeah. Our next episode should be done in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I think it's a good idea. Just on the stool, right? <laughs> yeah. Just mics. Yeah, just mics. Just like like doors all open. Yeah, yeah. One mic <laughs> and then, uh, one camera, and then we're all holding a mic like this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I think I'm too much of a flirt. I really enjoy the tension that flirting creates. But why is that a red flag? Uh, because and if you flirt with too many women, I don't think it's a good thing. And is it also because sometimes you're just flirting for the sake of flirting? And you don't yeah, actually care I'm not about really interested in that. So I'll lead a girl on. I tend to lead people on, and that's not good. Because I really enjoy flirting. Like I, I, I generally won't have interest in a woman to want to like date, date it with, date her, mm. and then I, but I will enjoy flirting with her, mm. and then I'll just like, do it. I'm, I'm, and I accidentally become a dick. I'm an accidental dick sometimes. I don't intend to be a dick, but I accidentally become a dick. Maybe mm -hmm. that makes me a dick, mm. right? Kind of like how Sean's being now, just making. You know, I have that very day. ADHD. This yeah, yeah. Yes, Sean's red flags. His driving. You're yeah, for that this guy's too. a fucking horrible driver. I'm not but a horrible driver at all. why is that a red all. flag? No, that's just me calling out okay. him. No, 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 no you, you, like, you can it's say... It's like Sean's a cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay, what's that got to do with being you can, with a you girl? Can say, you can say I, I am risky, no, no, you but can't you can't say I'm a horrible driver. Yeah. No, 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 you no, no, can't no, say I'm a horrible driver. I'm fucking... I'm finessing What would you say his red flags are? I think Sean can be very blunt. Wait, here's a question before we continue. Yeah. Are red flags just relationship based or is it no. just even as a person it could be as a person it could be, it could okay. be as a person but it tends to be more, more relationship, relationship oriented it yeah. is more relationship oriented yeah Sean's red flag is he's blunt and Sean <laughs> I think Sean emotionally there's there's a lot going on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that can inadvertently create situations with women that they think that wow Sean's actually a fucking asshole yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I, I think that's his uh, I think that's his, his red flag like I'm a bit too much of a flirt I think I'm a flirt because I'm hiding my own emotional insecurities. Mm -hmm. of you just want to make sure that you can. Flash. Yeah, right? 
What? You just want to make sure that you have what it takes and you're not really interested, but you just want to know that exactly. if you want it to, you're good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. You know, as a Muslim, Bro, I just want to know if I want it. I still do that good. now, just being married. And you know, like, I even tell my wife, I'm like, I'm going to prove to myself that I can. I'm just be like, I'm yeah. going to get that number. I think that's exactly. Get it. All right, go get it then. All right, watch. <laughs> like, you know what's funny? Is watch it, how this part of the segment gets cut. Definitely not. See, my wife dope, bro. Honestly, like she. You know, my boys always try to test me. They always try to test me because sometimes I get into like my. You know, my, my nice guy area, I'm just being a nice guy. And they're like, yeah. Nasser, go get that girl's number. I'm like, all right, you yeah. open that door. If you tell me, open that door for the, the Nasser to flirt to come on, it's, yeah. it's It really is. On. Like, he is a fucking social bomb. Mm. <laughs> He's not a social butterfly. Mm. Like, you drop Nasser in a room, and by the end of it, the ripple effects have come through. Like, no, I've seen it happen. I generally like, like talking to people. He does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He does. That's why I think he'll be a great show host. Like, I think I think stand-up is great. Because you're you're funny and you can do stand up and that's like something you want to do. But I think as a as a show host, you would murder it. Have you ever thought of starting the podcast? What was that? Have you ever thought of starting a podcast? I, I've thought about it. I it's just more of a I'm trying to do the stand up thing right now. I think once I quit my job, I'll start doing a podcast. Mm. Um I definitely it's a dream of mine to host a proper show, even though like mm. I feel like my page is a show. Uh because I just like I've always imagined myself. Like I want mm. It's not going to be the Tonight Show. I, I don't think the Tonight Show is really like. It'll be what? the Tomorrow Show. It's all it the Tomorrow Show. It'll be the Inshallah Bukhara. It will be the Layla Show. Like Sahara. Yeah, Fajr with Nasser. Yeah, Fajr with Nasser. Literally. Yeah, yeah. The show starts off Allah. Yeah, yeah. Allah. Yeah, yeah. Like, Welcome, brother and sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come sit down. Dude, you can easily have a YouTube show for sure. 100%. You know? I agree. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be on like a big distributor like NBC because I don't want my voice well, to why? Be. But why? Like, that's my point. I think a lot of people, like, I know they mean it in a good way, but a lot of people in this guy's fucking generation. <laughs> how old are you? There's only four how old are you, that, bro? No, how old are you? Like you know that you know those things no, no. where AJ, no, no, how old are you? He doesn't look. He doesn't look his age. He doesn't look his age. No one will remember the things you've done. Like it, I'm from that actually, generation. I'm, like you know those so videos. How old are you? I'm 49. Damn. <laughs> I'm 41, you dicks, but still, damn. No, 41, yeah. Still, still, even 41 is kind of like fuck. Yeah, yeah but you don't. Right. You're not 41. Though. No, no, I'm not 41. You're not 41. No. How old are you? 40? 41. 41. No, no, yeah, 41. No, yeah. on paper he really is 41, yeah, but yeah. like mentally, he's yeah, <laughs> mentally, physically, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It Young was like spirit. damn in a good way. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. It was more like I, damn. No, I see it as a compliment, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but like people, people in my say damn, I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to be old now, you're but supposed I'm not. To be old. Yeah. But people, no, people, mashallah, you look fantastic. Yeah. People yeah. often go like, "Oh yeah, you can be the next," and then they give you a name of a figure and like whatever. But yeah. I'm not trying to be the next. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, but that's my point. And they say like, "Oh, you can be on this show, you can be on this network, you can be the whole." They don't understand that that's no longer the benchmark. It is not. Mm. But it's I get, not. I get it's the not. reference comes in a good way. Yeah, the reference yeah. comes in a good way, but no one's thinking like, for example, this podcast is like, in my opinion, and I think statistically, the biggest podcast here, mm. right? Yeah. yeah, it's definitely the best. <laughs> like, I would agree with that. Like, yeah. if you look at the, the, like, if you look at, forget he's here, like, because I don't want to fucking do this in front of him. Like, host wise, great. Setup is great. The guests are insane. The guests and especially are great. for this region, there's, I haven't seen a podcast that has the level, the caliber of guests. Yeah. He went down a little bit when he got me, and then it just kind of started going a little bit lower. But, <laughs> There's only so many yeah, famous people that come here. You if know? you could, if you could talk towards me, <laughs> the extra sound would, would really help me he finish. Needs help, bro. I want to finish. Needs, you. He needs <laughs> the help. Uh, but like this is like, a, in my opinion, a level of success. Yeah. This is mm. this is what was the Today Show for me. You know. Yeah. Because this has more listeners. This has less regulation. This has less rule. You yeah, know? I agree with so, you. And there's no one telling me what to do. Do you know what I mean? There's I no one that can that. be like, you can't talk about this shit. Yeah. You 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 self-regulate. Yeah. Which is super important. Yourself a lot of stuff and yeah. you don't want to see you a, lot a lot of, of it. it. And I think yeah. it's super Except important. The kids yeah. super important. Yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one was a team No, he's right. Cause I, that's why I, my dream used to be the Tonight Show. Yeah. But the, my experience then was based on what I saw was Jane Leno and Jimmy Fallon. But where I, I look at that, whatever that is for me, is going to be the pinnacle of my career. And when you found I, them all on Epstein's list, you're like, I, 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 I don't want to be I'm like, to uh, that show. Uh, we're, we're done here. Also, uh, I was telling him about when, when we did our podcast, and I was yeah. like, oh, how old are you? Like 40. I was like, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we that. laughed. Yeah, yeah, he knew exactly yeah, what I was yeah, doing yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knew exactly what I was doing there. We're just taking the piss. Yeah, yeah. that's all right. You know, taking the piss. <laughs> there was a piece of time. He was like, these, I could fucking bench these kids if I wanted to. He could, bro. He's like, let me just take these kids. You know, he was on the cover of a magazine, all six of them. What, Playgirl? Huh? What? 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 Do you know what? It was Playboy. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I, I didn't care. I just wanted to get on a magazine. If this guy's gonna watch it, guy's gonna watch it. Nah. All right. No, nah, no, nah, mental. Mental. Really? 
if you ever want to know how to get abs on your dick, <laughs> just let me know. That's what it was, no, no, abs no. on dick. Yeah, yeah. It was your face. It was like, you know when you know when they put the, the picture and then they put loads of different workouts? Got you. Did, you yeah, put, yeah. Did, you, did they put you at the bottom of that magazine or make you bigger? My face wasn't on it. Oh, really? <laughs> it, was just, it was just your abs. It was my face. No, it was just my dick. Really? It was your yeah. dick? Yeah. Really? I feel like your ears really could be on. So much. Ears can make it on next time. Yeah. Ears just around, on, on, around the side of it, <laughs> right? No, because you are the king of the underground Disneyland. So you're going to, okay. I think, you know what? Mm. I think you need to do this. Anything you open up the underground. I think I'm going to take him into that room that I take those special guests into. Yeah. You yeah. know the ones that have a lot of confidence. I need to let them walk out here shaking and <laughs> like let them know. Yeah. What, what is this that you told me that you didn't tell me about? Don't this. worry about it's it. Right. Don't, I, worry about don't worry about it. I gotta go, but you guys, you guys enjoy yourself. <laughs> is there anything you feel like that we missed out? Honestly, we touched upon a lot. Honestly, do you know the nice thing about it? Is every now and then, like, I meet people that. You know when you know like people are good eggs and you you gel very well. I love that and English I just, reference. And I just, <laughs> yeah, good eggs. He's a good egg. And I just feel like now I have another person to crash comedy podcast with you and when I do another one, right? So it's like I'm just adding chairs of co-hosts <laughs> yeah. that are coming. When you're here in December, yeah, we'll, yeah. whenever you I'll whenever you want me back, I would love it. to come back. No, no, for sure we need to. I feel like. I feel like we need to do an after hours one for sure, hundred yeah. percent. There was so much we could have talked like about. One so that we we'll talked just... about like you asked me the basic questions about stay. my comedy. I'm going like to leave, but you guys no, no, can no, stay. No, no, no. I know you need to leave. We're gonna end it with you. I don't, we're not gonna choose this month, but I, we, yeah. we we could talk about a lot more, yeah. <laughs> and we need to. But I really appreciate no, no, you having sure. me on the show. We'll do another episode for sure, and I think we need to do an after hours episode. Maybe I'll release it on something else to, on the Patreon down. or something where only OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Do you have OnlyFans for your dick? No, but I should. You should. I really should. It should be called he Jibber's Underground, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fiddle's Jabba. <laughs> I'm down. Jimbo's Playground. I'm That's down. a great one. What time are we on? See ya? Are you going to this taste? Huh? Done. <laughs> done. <laughs> done? Wait, what? Stop. You stop recording? No. Oh, I was about to say, you can't Is just do, stop recording yeah. and say, done, bro. He's like, we're yeah, finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, no, dude, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank and you. to meet you and to... To join, I do appreciate uh, the it. Thank you're you so you're going to be. When's the next show? Here now. It's right? going to be in December. We'll I, come, I don't know. Yet. We're the, gonna... the show's going to be in December. Um, Wasn't there one happening this weekend or something? There was, but I canceled all my shows oh, okay. until I can get the the permit from Dubai Cares to do uh, donations for uh, okay. Palestine. Then okay. when that's free Palestine, nice when that um, when that's done, we're going to announce it. I don't know if Nasser might not be here for it, but when he comes back. Uh, we'll also it'll be early to mid December. Well. We're gonna do like a, like an end of the year show type yeah. thing. So it'll be a. We'll, we'd love to have you there. Boom! I'll yeah. be there, man, for sure. Front row. I always sneak it. No, bro. You think I'm a fucking newbie to this shit? I don't sit anywhere near you guys, bro. When he you're knows. on stage, he'll be sitting backstage. Yeah. Really, I would love. I to mean, see you him still try see me dance. from my nose, bro. From when I went on backstage, but we like, gotta get him like a, a stool. Oh, heck, go back, yeah. motherfuckers. We'll do this, bro. So I can see him. We'll well, you this. and uh, you and the wifey will have platinum seats. That's it. VIB. You are here on Friday. Yes, I'm here Friday. You are going comedy show on Friday? Who's comedy show? Who's, uh... Oh, no, you don't go to that show. Okay. Which show? Abs. I don't know. Is Abs doing a show? On Friday? He does. Yeah, the Friday one. So, uh, I know why you're not going. I don't know. McDonald's. Uh, nah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but um, honestly, thank you so much for, for dude, having awesome. me on the show. Well, um, I, it's, it's, it, I've seen your stuff for such a long time, so it's been very nice to have you. You're to such a liar. You've never watched an episode in your life, but I appreciate you. I've watched two, bro. okay? I just two. Yeah, I appreciate like, I've literally just nah, watched two. It's the one with me in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, other one, <laughs> and the other one with you in it. <laughs> no, dude, love your Don't work. Love thank your, you, love you. your comedy. You. And we are going to call it comedy. And uh, you're welcome back anytime, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. My house is your house. Jibber with Jabber. Jibber with Jabber. Jibber with Jabber. Jibber with Jabber. You've seen the theme going on here. Say it, don't ruin do it. Do a quick, do a quick, uh, I just jabbered with jibber. Uh, I just jabbered with jibber, ya yeah, habibi. But you actually jibbered with jabber, so let's do that again. <laughs> I jibbered, I jibbered with jabber? Yeah, what did yeah. I say? Nothing. I jabbered with jibber? No, yeah, you said I jabbered with jibber. <laughs> <laughs> I just jibbered with jabbered, ya yeah, habibi. That's right? Boom. Perfect, okay.